for a direct pass onto the strip, or I could have asked him for cash. If I get the cash, then I can just get onto the strip. So there we go. I asked him for that. Oh, good call. I, uh, I switched sides yesterday when I was playing. We were playing GTA Online yesterday for like an hour. I was trying a dumb challenge. <laughs> okay, no. Flip horizontal. There we go. Now I'm back to my standard, standard view. Fix it. Of New Vegas, how many streams there will be? I mean, think about how much content there is. Probably quite a few. Is the J in Halo font? No, I think it's, um... We've got stuff we're not even Are you talking about on this sell, scene? I think it's the Oblivion the Gate. I made your day? Oh no, I, hopefully I don't disappoint. Uh, we are playing on hardcore mode, by the way. If you were curious. But we have a good amount of weapons. I should probably start selling some of these. Somebody mentioned I can sell them back to the band Graphs. I should probably do that. At some point. No, yesterday's stream was fun. And I do want to... You know, I mentioned it before. In the future, I would like to do more GTA and Red Dead content. Um, and I actually think that there's a little bit of a... Empty... Or, or an unfilled market for GTA Online, but completing the missions in really stupid ways. I think people have done the story missions a bunch of different ways. But the thing with the story missions is there's NPCs and there's story and characters. So those lead to some really funny stuff or some really funny moments. So I don't know. We'll see. Broseph, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. All right, let's figure out what's wrong with our boy Rex. Because if we can get Rex as a follower, then that would be huge. I don't know if we have... We might have to leave town, though, in order to do whatever quest. Psst. Julie. Psst. Sorry, I... I don't want to scare you. But come on, get up. Oh, she's the one with her crazy Hi, haircut. Do you need assistance? I need... Uh, I need veterinarian assistance. The king said you could tell me more about his robotic dog. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. Thank you, Gurfunkler. I will try to keep making good videos. I will try. I've made some good progress on Windhelm. Windhelm really was tough. It, it was tough to get started. It was tough to find a good end goal. The king brought him here for treatment? Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. Oh, so you hate dogs. Is that what it is, Julie? No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in no. Jacobstown, far to the no. northwest. No! No, not out there. No problem. Aw, poor dog. We're not going to be able to get Rex. Return to the king with the news. Well, maybe. Oh. Wait, hold on. There's a magazine in here. It's my. No, 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 no. Oh, she's coming for the magazine. <laughs> well, I, well, will she follow us throughout the whole city? This has just turned into a Nurbit video. Can you beat Fallout New Vegas if Julie Farkas follows you the whole time? Oh, oh, God. She's coming for us. Oh no, she's locked in. Target acquired. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 uh, Ju Julie, it was an accident. It, here, here, you want the magazine? Take it. Take it. I don't want it anymore. Ow, I don't want, I, I threw, oh God, no, the magazine, it's glitching through the ground. Stop, stop. I don't want to, I don't want to have to do this. Julie? Damn it, Julie! Stop it! it how, did, how the hell did that miss? You're... You're really resin my berries, Julie. I can only do it one time. One shot? Alright, bring it on. 
shit, 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 shit. Uh, uh, you can't get me if I'm on the bed. <laughs> what if I'm on the desk? Oh my god, she can teleport. I think she has vats. Angry. Ow! Hey! Watch the jabs. What is going on? What? What was that? I. Had, she, did she just pick that up and heal? She healed herself. I've never seen an NPC do that. I've never seen an NPC eat a stim pack before. I kind of like how angry she is. She really wants this magazine back. <laughs> I've never seen someone. She arose from her slumber. Like she had sensors in her brain just to sense when the magazine disappeared. Uh, definitely don't want to kill. <laughs> I don't want to kill Julie Farkas. We might need her later. Where did she get the stim pack, though? She had to have picked it up from somewhere in here. Unless she just had it in her inventory. Yeah. I guess it was just in her inventory. She saved it. She wanted to use it in a tactical moment. True, she is a, uh, she is a doctor. That would make sense. All right, let's go through that whole conversation again, just so we can advance the quest. Hi, do you need assistance? I want that magazine on your table. Uh, actually, maybe she she might have a small quest we can do. More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families. I should have known from the haircut that she'd be metal us. and try to just Freeside pound my face in. Dire and... need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. All right, what can I do to help? What can Matthew Perry? How can he so serve you today? A sub the other day, so there is some always money. something needing Much love. done. Have a good a stream. few souls here on Freeside could be great I assets to the community watch. if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan will... Lastly, ten... Artemis, thank you so much for the kind words. And to whoever gifted you that sub, shout out to them. Fist of the North Star, how are you? What's up? What do you need? I gotta... I, let me move chat real quick. I have chat way too high. Or way too low on my monitor. Uh, oh, we can help addicts around town. I think we could finally do some good. Let's let's get our uh, karma up. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Bill Ronte. That sounds like a uh, that sounds like a Red Dead Redemption character. Like I can just hear Dutch. Going on a rant about how Bill Ronte, we need to get Arthur. We got to get the Ronte. We got to get Bill Ronte. Get the money from him. Old Bill Ronte is Old an Bill Ronte. skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. Oh, the water pump. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. Sobering them up and putting... In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. No wonder I like hanging out at the Atomic Wrangler what so much. What do I want to talk about? What do I, what do I want to talk about? Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Let's move on to another topic. Goodbye. Okay, I've, I've leveled up Sneak for a reason. 
Okay, there we go. We got away with it that time. We're Finally. <sighs> hey, Jalof, what would you think about Fallout 4 without leaving Vault 81? It honestly might not be that good because I can't think of much content other than the Mole Rat Quest, but it's a thought. Well, the good thing about Fallout 4, especially when it comes to not leaving certain areas, Fallout 4 is really aided by, you know, obviously building, right? Uh, and the gameplay loop of Fallout 4 is pretty good for it. We've seen that in the Glowing Sea. Um, so we'll see. I, I don't hate that idea, though. I've, I've seen it recommended a few times. I think I like the idea of doing Far Harbor, Nuka World, and Spectacle Island a little bit more, but then I would probably put Vault 81 just under that. When is the next episode of The Glowing Sea coming out? So the next one is going to be the finale. It'll probably be a while because the Windhelm video has taken me so long. Thank you, kind sir. Lily, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, hold on, wait, what, what did your message say? I, I have chat covering up the notifications. So, oh, if I move this down here and that right there, I can see everything that I need to see now. Perfect. Uh, so I think the finale for the Glowing Sea, we also have to record more stuff for the Glowing Sea. We have to do more streams. So I'm pretty far behind, but after New Vegas the and the Glowing Sea finale and Windhelm, that's going to be the end of season one of Without Leaving. And then I want to take some time to plan out and get ready for season two because there's some wonky ideas that are in there. So I need to start, you know, figuring out some other ideas. But I appreciate the question. And thank you for watching the channel and the series and whatnot. I wish I could upload more. I say that almost every single stream. 2023. 2023 will upload a lot more. Because this will be my job then. I guess it's a good thing though that I am behind on a lot of these because when Starfield comes out, content and video ideas and all that are gonna be pretty easy and there's gonna be a shitload of Starfield content I'll be doing. So it'll, it'll be nice to have some of these that I haven't done in Fallout 3, New Vegas, etc., Skyrim, could probably do Oblivion a little bit more and put those. No, 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 2023 is in the next Glowing Sea video. I, I would hope not. Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the also, I did just see your message lately. This is the perfect content while I laminate stuff for my classroom. Thanks, Juve. Also, Minecraft server when? Hey, if the community wants to form a Minecraft server and start that up in the Discord, by all means. You guys are more than welcome to. Hello, exotic peanut butter. Yo, Mr. Peanut Butter. Uh, okay, we gotta find the drug addicts in here. You know where I think they are is, yeah, back here in this little corner. What about Skyrim? But you can't use S-K-Y-R-I-M-J-O-V-F-A-L-U-R-T. Like I can't use those keys? I feel like a lot of the NPCs in Freeside, what I'm starting to realize is none of them spawn in until you start doing quests. You seen Dixon around? He said he'd be back today. Now I'm here to clean you up. Welcome to Intervention. Julie? Oh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. One time I was working on the water pump and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder and told me I was doing a great job. <laughs> great job, she says. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Compliments are so rare these days. Man, Bill, I feel you on that. Why don't you stop drinking? <laughs> just go right into it. Drop drinking? I've been drinking for a straight month. Listen, I I've tried to stop, but the withdrawal symptoms are so bad, I feel like I'm going to die. I, I can't stop now. How can you afford so much alcohol? Dixon sells me booze dirt cheap. It does the job, but it tastes like paint thinner, and I feel like I'm going to die if I stop drinking for a day. I swear that guy's trying to kill me, but what can I do? Drinking other booze doesn't cure the sickness like he is. Goodbye. 
That's like the least empathetic way I could have talked to an alcoholic. Hey, why don't you get off the crank? Oh, that's your dealer? All right, thanks. Well, looks like we got a dealer to take care of. True, true. That is, you're right, Dark King. Withdrawal is, uh, well, I've never experienced it, but it is horrible. So where the hell is Dixon? I bet he's right around the corner here. Yeah. Oh, it's, I wonder if it's the vagrant that's over here. I'll never be able to do it. I can never do the speed running thing. Howdy. A local? I feel like locals might just be free XP at a certain point. You can die from water poisoning, like drinking too much water. Wasn't there a lady that actually died by drinking too much water trying to win a Wii when the Nintendo Wii first came out? I think there was a lady who was in a contest and she drank so much water, like gallons and gallons and gallons, and she died from it. Okay, so I have two objective markers here. There's Dixon. He's the dealer. I think this is another victim. Jacob Hoff. You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Wouldn't it be kind of funny if his name was Jack? Do you think his friends call him Jack? I bet his friends call him Jack. This is crazy to me. I've never met this person in my life. Never met this person in my life at all. Jacob Hoff. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? You look pretty ass, Jacob. You should probably stop using drugs. Why stop? I feel great. <laughs> no worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Oh, yeah? Your guy? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. But my damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was going to turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? I can't even give him caps. I can't even choose to give him money. I would. Bye. I would love to give him some cash right now. I'm loaded. I have 2,000 caps. All right, Dixon. Turn around. Hello. Face the wall, hands behind your back. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Do you want, do you know anything about Bill? Okay, what are you selling? Have a look, baby. Okay. Okay, so this is his whiskey. I'm gonna buy some of his whiskey because I've heard it's insanely good. I mean, if, if Jacob and What's-His-Face are willing to just be strung out the rest of their lives, this has to be some good hooch. Dixon's jet. This is probably what Jacob is addicted to. Yeah, I'll buy some of this too. Gotta be pretty good, right? What if I let me just buy? I'm gonna buy his entire stock. That'll clean up these two addicts. That'll complete the quest. Pleasure doing business. I right? want all your drugs. Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Are you trying to kill your customers? Those fools are from NCR. I love seeing those squatters in agony. We were doing just fine before those shits came here and made a mess of things. We don't need NCR eggheads wandering around confusing things. What? They're not even. What does he mean that they're NCR? Like they're just NCR citizens? How does that really? How does that apply? Stop supplying them. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. Ah, oh, damn it! It's a speech check. If you don't leave them alone, I'll... I'll tell on you. Wow, you really suck at this, don't you? Go bully some mole rats, jackass. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to... Well, I already bought all of his drugs. 300 caps and I'll stop selling to them. Otherwise, it is just too much fun watching them spiral downward. <sighs> 300 caps, though, is gonna keep me from getting... 300 caps is going to keep me from getting back, or not from getting back to the strip, but getting onto the strip. Whew. 
Ooh, I always enjoy a good scrap. <laughs> that was a really tough battle. <laughs> that was tough. Hey, check it out. You guys are now clean. Now I can be their drug dealer. Oh, nice. He had a ton of drugs on him. 31 caps. Why would I have given him 300 caps? Finally caught a stream live. I watch your VODs all the time. Wayward, thank you. Thank you for watching the VOD channel. Welcome. Oh, a roving trader hat. So we can increase barter by another two points. Or another five points. So right now I have plus 10 barter. That's going to come in handy. Trust me. Good. So you're back. But Empty jet inhaler. Oh, damn. I thought this was just going to be free jet. So you're back. Got any chems for me yet? Took care of that dr uh, bleh. I took care of that dealer. All right. Time to clean up your act. What? I need a fix now. I want to help you get well, man. Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm going to need at least 10 shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. 10? Yeah, fixer is for losers. <laughs> Jacob, drugs are for the weak. Get the hell out of here. I think you're one of the followers of the apocalypse. Fixer is for pansies. Way. <laughs> 10 shots of fixer? That's a lot. I'm going to burn through my savings account just to get these guys clean. All right, well, maybe we should go talk to the other guy. Let's just, you know, try and get him clean if we can. What I should do is start. I should I should sell some stuff, get some money, at the very least. He has for 10 shots. That is insane. Hello. Playing debt collector for the Garrets, huh? I guess someone has to do their dirty work. Yep, here you go. You'll need to use a terminal to upload the data to the robot. There we go. We got our sex tape. All right. We finally got our sex tape. Uh, Matthew Perry, superstar. That's what we'll call it. Take a gander. We should be able to sell him 107 caps for a combat knife. 400. Okay, a flamer. We'll sell that. I'll just take 400 caps. Can use it. Forgot how easy it is to make money in uh, New Vegas. Uh oh. Oh. What do you want? Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. I mean, okay, but I just blew off a guy's head in the middle of the street. <laughs> but all right, I guess I'm a good guy. Hey. You know, I, the, the thing with me, guys, is I always try to do the Lord's work in town. I was so caught off guard. See what happens to me when I play Gamebryo Bethesda games? I get all caught. I get whenever NPCs run towards me and it does a zoom in conversation, it freaks me out. The Gamebryo games just always freak me out. Dude, did you just call New Vegas or Bethesda? It's under the umbrella. Shut up. Okay, let's... Where's the other guy? He's over here. Am I going to have to get him 10 shots of Fixer as well? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler has you covered. Oh, there was a way easier way to get to him. I walked the long way. Come on, man. I'm dying here. You won't be seeing Dixon anymore. What the hell? Why? I need alcohol, man. Man, I'm, 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 I'm trying to help you. Get a drink. Kick the habit. The only way you can help me now is a load of detox chems. At least a couple of doses of Fixer, a, a bottle of whiskey, and Radaway. Right I can take doses of Fixer and Radaway right to gradually flush my system over time while drinking decreasing shots of diluted whiskey. This shit better be worth it, man. Harden the hell up, Bill. <laughs> You're being a sissy. <laughs> sissy? 
Real men can hold that liquor, and I'm double clutching mine. All right, Bill. Sorry, I don't have the stuff yet. Withdrawal could kill me if I don't get them soon. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him the stuff. We're gonna get these guys clean. All right, I'm a good Samaritan. I, I'm 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 a good guy. Matthew Perry does right by the citizens of his town. Two doses of fixer, Radaway, and a bottle of whiskey. That should be easy. Radaway right should be easy to get. I think. I really hope it's easy to get. Oh, true. Julie could be the one to hook me up. Morning. But I need regular whiskey. What the? F what the? F what? What is going on, dude? What are you on? Stop! You're moving at a million miles an hour. What just happened? I think the game is already breaking. <laughs> I've spent too long in Freeside. What? That was terrifying. Hey, get back here. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Sure. Jesus. He. <laughs> I need the. I need the Sonic. Uh, what's the Sonic Another sound effect? Customer. Ooh. Did you see that? Did did you guys saw what that dealer was? You guys saw that, right? Percival, you're sitting in the sun getting burnt. <laughs> if I even if I make contact with the sun in any capacity, I get burnt. No, the dealer, he was in some weird like stance. I don't know, he was all contorted. Rewind it. Clip it. It happened. It definitely happened. I was busy scratching my nose when it happened. Want to get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Is that loaded? Let me try it. I'll forgive you this time. <laughs> I'm glad you'll forgive me, kid. <laughs> is that loaded? Let me try. Let me try. Come on. <laughs> Just barrel stuff a child. It's not funny. Not funny. Can I help you? Raids. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are free side essentials. I can't pay you. She'll give me a discount? So far. You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's or go see the Garrett's, though I suspect. Just come see me when you've got. What do you want? Uh, if I wanted to calm things down in Freeside, where would I start? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just need. We're pretty short. Okay, here we go. I just got to buy some stuff from her. I need one right away. Thank you, kind sir. So, man, I appreciate it. Thank you for the tier one. How have you been? What's new in ESO land? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He's a pretender. He has the most influence locally, and some of his How? crew haven't helped the situation by harassing How? NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Chosen, if you want to start the Juve Clips channel, you are more than welcome. If anybody ever started a Clips channel in my name, they can have all the revenue that they want. They, they can take. You have my permission. I don't, know, I don't know if any of my clips are worthy of it. Start the start the Juve Clips complex. Do I have all I need? Two fixer, one whiskey, one Radaway. Yeah, yeah, okay. I got enough to at least get one of them off drugs. So we'll do one good deed. 
Wanna get lucky? Head on down rush. to the Atomic Rang. Can you get an affiliate link? No, no, no. No one no affiliate programs here. Come on, man, I'm dying here. I got you. I felt like I was dying these past weeks off and on, but the worst is yet to come. In a few days, though, I should be free. I'll head over to the followers and see if they'll help me through this. So the followers are just genuinely good people. They're just genuinely really nice. Freeside fame gained. Aren't wouldn't most of the businesses in Freeside, or at least the Atomic Wrangler, wouldn't they be pissed that I just helped someone get cleaned up? Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all. I didn't get any XP for I didn't get any XP for that. I didn't get any XP for Okay, so I'm supposed to get 10 doses of fixer. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph. So let's start with Mick and Ralph. So let's see if we can convince Mick to give supplies to the followers. And then we'll move on from there to go get the sex robot. It's always the strangest glitch. What do we got here? Hello, hello. Hello. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? Jesus, dude. Your your forehead is Y equals MX plus B. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> On a line. <laughs> sure, man. Here you go. Oh, what the hell was that for? <laughs> Yo, the Garrett's a good lump of caps. I'm here to collect. Cough them up, Grex. There's more where that came from if you don't pay your debt. I just went from getting a guy off of drugs to punching someone in the face for no reason. <laughs> interest? The Garrett's said nothing about interest on their tabs. Look, man, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. You cheap-ass zombie. You need to pay my extra fee. God damn, that's so mean. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> hey, I'm tapped out, man. I've got nothing left but the clothes on my back. That'll do. Mess with the Garrett's again and you're dead. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I like how his friend just casually walks away like nothing happened. <laughs> I wasn't even friends with that guy anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> that timing was just too good. If he didn't say, <laughs> if he didn't say, thanks for not killing me, I would not have just blasted his face. I wouldn't have done it. But the fact that he was like, hey, man, you seem like a nice fella. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, it's a boom. It was too good. <laughs> I had to. I can't be purely good, right? I'm a bounty collector. I'm a bounty hunter. I get shit done in Freeside, okay? It's a lot of the aggression that I have pent up from the king just being a total weasel. So, w somebody had to be a victim, all right? And I'm sorry it was Grex. <laughs> oh, God, that was so funny. I'm oh, sorry. No! Oh, oh, geez! What's going on? What's that about? Hey, 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 hey! You're starting to get quite the reputation around here, aren't you? Don't get me wrong, I'm not passing judgment or anything. The fine proprietors of Mick and Ralph's appreciate that kind of attitude and would like to offer you a discount on their fine wares. Just as long as you keep making waves, that is. Be seeing ya. Yeah, well, tell your bosses if they're gonna give me a discount to stop shooting me! That, what kind of discount is this? Ah, it's the five finger discount, isn't it? What the fuck? What it? What? It, what? A okay, okay. I'm gonna leave. Maybe things will calm down. Maybe things will settle down with Mick and Ralph. He's just trying to give me free ammunition. I just have to pluck it out of my injured limbs. I gotta. I gotta make sure. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. We've I got stuff. We're not even. I did quick save before I shot Grex in the face. 
I gotta hide out for a few days. No, stop it. Stop it. Why? Why is everyone attacking me? Bill Ronte? I just got you clean, man. We're not doing this. I just got you clean. Oh, no. Now the kings are attacking me. I gotta get to the city. I'm going to the strip. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> I've been ran out of town. Go. Oh, we gotta get moving. Do you think the robots will defend me? Ow. Ow. Shit. I'm actually in trouble here. Ta da Hey, free ammo. Go, 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 go. Should have enough caps to get under the strip. Submit to a credit check. Or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Uh, well, well, hey, you know, I am loaded. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. That's right, back off. Back off. Hey, I have the protection of these robots. Don't, oh no. Are they gonna get attacked by the robots? I'll use the robot as cover. You know what? I'm just going to the strip. They're not going to follow me under the strip, right? Howdy, partner. Hey! You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. This place looks amazing. The place to get started is Lucky 38. See that big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner? That's where you find Mr. House, New Vegas' head honcho. And he's itching to make your acquaintance. Yeah, he really likes that I've helped intervene in two drug addicts and uh, terrible addictions. That's why he wants to talk to me. He wants to get himself off of it. Don't you dawdle, little doggy. Mr. House isn't someone you want to go about. Snuggling. Hello, Andre. He'll be waiting. All right, I'm I safe for you. What the you fuck is it? The butt? Oh my god. Oh, he this what well, this guy doesn't like violence so much he's throwing up on the street. Why Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You Why is everyone like trying to talk to me? Protection. Lucky for you, my stock and trade, all kinds of easy to hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. This guy kind of looks like ESO. The uh, uh, Elder Scrolls YouTuber. <laughs> he kind of looks like ESO a little bit. Maybe it's just the big, the, the big uh, red beard. Not interested. Suit yourself. I'm kind of under attack right now. Everyone, quick, run into the casino. We're under attack by the kings. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. All right, here you go. You'll get these back on your way out. Now, will the kings also have to face this rule? God, look at look at the kings just terrorizing everybody on the strip. They can't all seriously be running away from me because I shot Grex in the face. Is this? Is it me? Am I the bad guy? <laughs> Am I this terrifying? What have I done? I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. No, see? Everything looks fine. Now I'm gonna go back out that door. And the kings are gonna leave me alone. Oh, they're gone. Alright, I think it's all settled down now. Thankfully. All is well, all is well. Caleb hey. McCaffrey. Hey, I'm supposed to kill him. I'll come back for him later. I don't want to do anything that compromises my saves. So I can't quick save again.
Andre, thank you for the prime. Oh no. Oh, I screwed it. Oh. No, 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 wait, wait. Bill! Bill, you gotta, you gotta get up, man. You gotta get up. Get, 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 come on. I guess technically, Bill isn't addicted to alcohol anymore. Yeah, have a nice day. I didn't fail the quest. Help Jake, yeah. Uh. Okay. All right, fine. I'll reload my save. It looks like things were kind of broken. I won't blast Grex in the face. I yes. promise. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? That chin beard? He, 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 honestly, Grex, you just have to shave a little bit. I think if he shaved off his goat beard, it wouldn't be too bad. If I were a Skyrim NPC, what combat build would I use? Um... Uh, uh, citizen like citizen with just the iron dagger you know how a lot of the NPCs just have like a basic iron dagger for regular defense that's me All right, a bunch oh, what the hell was that for ah oh, crap I was hoping all right he's got the caps Oh, by the way, that damn eye of yours is creepy. Get it checked out. <sighs> A scum humping water baron did this to me. No one trash talks the eye. Seriously, zombie, are you looking at me or someone up that direction? <laughs> That's it. No one insults the eye. Hey, look, I can get away now without everyone attacking me. Now this, hey, this is fair combat. Last time it was murder. This is completely fair combat. All is well, all is well. Reputation is intact. And I am still the savior of Freeside. That's how you do it. <sighs> Silly me. All I had to do was convince him to attack me. All is well, all is well. Now, can I get my discount in Mick and Ralph's? <laughs> I'd like that discount again. How's it going, friend? Looking for anything special? I love how in this timeline, <laughs> like not a, really not a whole lot's changed. I still blew his face off. Came in here two seconds later. We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the Atomic Wrangler. They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol, which could be... So he won't do anything. Take it. Guys, re remind me again, who is Gort? Why am I forgetting who Gort? Oh, that was a Skyrim NPC. They were on Window. Forgot about Gort. You all voted to kill Gort. So now upon leaving. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Okay, again? Why do the why does the king keep rewarding me with things after I blow someone's head off? <clears throat> hey. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I have a good reputation in Freeside, the king will give me something. If I have a mixed reputation, which is the reputation I had after originally blowing Grex's face off, R Mick and Ralph will give me a discount, but the discount they gave me because of my reputation was in a timeline in which they were simultaneously hostile towards me and trying to kill me because of the murder that gave me a mixed reputation. Is this all adding up right? 
am I am I tracking this properly? I think I'm tracking this right. None of this makes sense. And I was supposed to check if they have fixer, but I didn't. Oh well. Let's go back and talk to Julie. Maybe she has some fixer. Hi, do you need assistance? I need drugs. What's... No fixer. Great. What do you all right, guess I got nothing for her. I should probably sleep. I don't think I've slept at all this entire run. H2O, food, sleep. I feel like I don't need, I haven't had to do anything. Is it just me or is hardcore mode really easy? Hey. <laughs> Maybe when you're in the city, it's easy. Going on the road, it might be tough. That is true. None of this makes sense is the channel motto. All right, let's go fuck a robot. The moment you've all been waiting for. Ro 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 robo fortification. Roses are red, violets are blue. Grex was a hero. Now he is goo. Saw man, that's incredibly insensitive. Okay, have some respect. La la la. Now, I wonder, are there still NPCs in this place? Or is this place cleaned out? Oh wow, it's just empty now? Look at all this free food. Purified water. They all just leave. Some booze. I'm a big fan of this place. Some dirty water. Look at all that dirt. Look at all that dirty purified water. Purified water. I knew that surviving in this city would be so easy. They just left all of this. Gecko steak. Doctor's bag. Good lord. <laughs> they left everything here for us. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Now, I think the Robo Factory is right around this corner. Is that the only thing that's back here? Is the Robo Factory? I really wish it's starting to annoy me how my nose keeps itching right on the corner. Ah! Might be allergies. All right. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in here. Oh my gosh, a combat encounter? I I haven't been used to combat encounters at all this whole playthrough. What weapons do I even have? We got a pulse mine. That should be pretty good. Oh no, they're rats. Shit. <laughs> Recharger pistol comes in handy. I don't know if I'm used to always collecting scrap metal in Fallout 3. I don't know if I need any of it in New Vegas. <clears throat> All good there. 
More rats. Ow! We just got a, uh... Nice! 75 XP from uh, a challenge. I told you guys, challenges are gonna end up being one of our better sources of uh, currency. <clears throat> now what I need to find is right here. This is a pretty big one. If I was an NPC in Skyrim, what common weak clothing would I wear? Um, that green shirt with like the brown sleeves, I don't remember what it's called. <clears throat> Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. We're gonna take that so we can encounter our best, our, uh, our best friend. Everyone's favorite NPC. What if Malcolm Holmes walked in as we were getting fucked by this robot? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Well, he, he might actually. Can we time it right to where he shows up as we're getting railed by a robot? You got a jab okay, you Uh, you can, Dan, you can share it on the Discord server. All right, robot. Upload programming routine. Routine accepted. Here we go. Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. Let's just shorten that to Fisto. Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. <laughs> I suppose I should test you out. You know, just make sure that the merchandise works properly. Servos active. Does, don't you get a perk from this? Operation complete. Thank you for your business. I can't feel my legs. That's all you got, robot? I will require a hardware and software upgrade to offer enhanced services. Report to the Atomic Wrangler, Fisto. You're about to be the biggest money maker on the market. Yes, sir. Am I over encumbered? Oh, I am. How did I get over encumbered? What happened? I don't know why I'm over encumbered now. Maybe because it's nighttime. I might have lost a perk point or something. I just have to get rid of an outfit. We can move forward. Yeah, I'm disappointed at the lack of sound effects there. I thought that was going to be much more emphatic. And no, we won't get jumped by uh, the gang of old ladies here. We uh, randomly generated our character in the theme of Vegas. We dice rolled all of our character traits and everything. So, no wild wasteland, which means no old ladies. Sadly. Yeah, Fisto uploaded his software into my hard disk drive. Was it from his stream today? If I know Jabbo, then he was talking, <laughs> he was talking shit. <laughs> if I know Jabbo, maybe I'm wrong though. Hello, green scales. It's going well. Oh, was he talking? Because his uh, uh, his millionaire video, he did uh, how long it takes to become a millionaire in Fallout 4, and the video did really, really well. And uh, we started that in Fallout 3. I would have never gone through with the idea, though. I wouldn't have had fun doing it. That's definitely a challenge that better suits him. 
So I'm glad he, I'm glad he just stuck to it because I think it still took him almost 30 hours. Which is crazy. I was pretty impressed. <laughs> like at a certain point with a challenge like that, you're just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. So by all means. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Good. We can supply them with all the medex they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side well, of things. Well, I am. I'm in the oh, business of getting people... Some up with what we have available, though. <laughs> I'm in the business of getting people hooked on hookers, drugs, getting them off of drugs. Needed to make the alcohol. You did? Ha, ah, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. The thing is, Fisto's a heavy-duty piece of equipment built to last. Nice, we can finally get a speech check. You're right, you're right. Something like this, it's worth a little extra because it's gonna keep on satisfying you. <laughs> <coughs> uh, uh, those disgusting fetishists, I mean. Something wrong with someone if they got a fucking machine. I already did. Fisto is already programmed to respond to your commands. It is. It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. Looks like that gives us a full roster of new ass to sell. Good work. Enjoy the bonus. Wow. 650 XP. We're now halfway to level 7. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I did not think that we would be gaining as much XP as we have been. Um... Oh, but I, I wanted to follow up on what uh, Jabba was talking about. I assume he was talking about the um, weapon or loadout randomizer. That's my guess. And DDM and I talked about that for a while for doing that in Fallout 4. So if we do get to a point where we have that made, then yeah. I mean, I'm sure Jabbo and I could both make videos on I don't. I don't see why not. Maybe I'll do a millionaire. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a millionaire in Fallout 4. Oh, it was can't raise skills above level one. <laughs> he should, he should do that. Oh, well, like in, when we did it in Fallout Three, I still think he should do it. I didn't beat the game. All right, so we're at level six now. I think I want to still do more sneak. I want to play around with sneak. Maybe there might be some fun sneak perks we can get. I'm not sure. Speech, I think I'm going to keep low. Barter, I'm going to keep investing in. I'll put on a few explosive points because I want to plant more landmines. I want landmines to do a little bit more damage. Yeah, we'll do the rest on explosives. Get that to 18. Uh, we've got Lead Belly, Gunslinger, Fortune Finder. Those won't be too good for us. Toughness won't be that terrible. I feel like Swift Learner I should have taken earlier. Or we'll take Lady Killer. I think I'm going to take Lady Killer for the dialogue options. Most of these are just kind of, they're just stat boost perks. So I'll take Lady Killer. Ooh, better get a YouTube cut. What's my favorite Elder Scrolls main quest? Uh, uh, probably Oblivion. Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. I'm just realizing now I don't know where to go. So we can go take out Caleb McCaffrey. 
which might not be a bad idea. Taking out Caleb McCaffrey is probably going to get us to level 7. So let's go talk to him. We've got the perk for Arcade. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. She said, what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here, and you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what, you promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? Whoa, no way. I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here, if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He He's normally pretty obedient. But you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. I'm not taking my hat off. Though, other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting. Yeah, I better not have to take off my hat. You will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect him as you would me. Is he gonna hate me because of my hat? Rex has given you the search and mark perk. Hi, buddy. Hey, Rex. Oh, right. You've got to think about people with hats. <laughs> On the same side. All right. I think he's. I think he's settled down. He's not upset at my hat anymore. I didn't know we'd be able to take Rex with us. I thought we'd have to complete the quest first. All right. We got a follower. And it's about time. I'm not going to be able to do his quest, but at least we have him with us. Now let's go get a bounty together, boy. What do you say? You want to kill Caleb McCaffrey together? Whoop, didn't mean to do that, but I guess I'm taking it all. Oh, I just realized we haven't technically done this yet. So we're going to have to do the Hattie partner. Howdy, partner. You come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New... All right, so there's Caleb McCaffrey. There's our target. How do I assassinate him without getting caught, though? Convince him to get into the hotel? Hey there, friend. A bit of... Take a look. Straight razor. I'm gonna buy one. I'm over... I'm over encumbered now. Wait, hold on. Let me sell you some of my stuff. Back again? I can get weapons past the guards, no problem. You might. One fella I knew was take able the XP. to take a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by them. Thank you, kind sir. Take a look at. You're right. I could make Rex follow, uh, or I could make Rex hold on to my stuff. That's actually a pretty good idea. I'm a fireman working for the Air Force watching your stream. Thank you for making today go by faster. W, thank you so much for the five months. Where, uh, where are you at? I, I had a, a friend in uh, high school who ended up in the Air Force. I already had a straight razor. Why the hell did I have to buy one? And of course, thank you for your service. 
and thank you for spending time here. Rex can carry 210 pounds. My little hound dog can carry more than me. I'll keep the hunting rifle because it's decent. But I'm going to give him all these valuables. There we go. Let's go, pup. Thanks for doing your job. Huh. So the Garrus sent you to track me down. What a joke. I just wanted to have a conversation. Give me a share of the caps and your hat and you can go free. <laughs> now nah, I just thought I'd come by and say hi. I just wanted to make pleasantries with him. Piss off. All right. <laughs> All right. Catch you later, man. Good talk. So I don't think I can just attack him in the middle of the street, right? Will I get in trouble for that? What do you think, boy? What's the best plan of action here? We could put a, a pulse mine in his pocket. Don't give us any trouble now. Huh. So. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Don't bring my mother into this. Hand over your hat before I pump you full of hot lead, you old fart. I guess I haven't got a choice but to put you away. I'll just say goodbye. After directly threatening him. Goodbye. Piss off, Aaron boy. Alright, nobody makes fun of me. I've done a lot of good errands around here. Whoa, he's got all the he's got a ton of caps on him. Can I just pickpocket the caps off of him and call it a day? That doesn't belong to Shit. you. <laughs> Hold on, I want to steal him. Am I going to be able to ever do this? How many tries is it going to take? Thief. Maybe I'll need a stealth boy to do it. Thief. Hello. All right, fine. We're going to go buy a stealth boy. Can I fast travel actually? Oh, I can only travel to the strip north gate. I can't travel with. I kind of stinks. I don't have the fast travel point for the beginning of Ooh. the. Uh, for the to the beginning of Freeside. Now. In the interest of brevity and ease of transportation, will you allow me to briefly exit Freeside to discover the gate and go back in so I can have it as a fast travel spot? Or is that against the rules? That technically would be leaving. If I drop my hat, I mean, we could do, I could come to an agreement with chat. You remember when I cheated in the Rhodes challenge? I cheated in the Rhodes challenge and as punishment, I had to drop all of my gear. So chat, you guys will have to discuss what would the price be? Thank you, kind sir. Bolty Pie, you had a baby recently. I'm going to clap it up for Bolty. Congratulations. Congratulations, Bolty. That is amazing. Welcome to parenthood. We're all very proud of you. Rex's life. Half of my caps and my hat. Price ruin a faction relationship. All right, well, I, uh, I think ruining ruining a faction relationship is a fair price. Um, but then I could just say I'll, I would I would choose Gamora. I would ruin my relationship with Gamora. That would be an easy choice. 
Ruin a, I, I like that, though, because if we ruin a faction relationship, that can flip the storyline, and I'll have to ruin something. Or kill Rex. Killing Rex? Oh my god. Kill Rex. You guys are awful. Uh, if there's any mods in chat, you could do a poll. But I don't know how many more times I'm gonna have to come back here. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here. Man, they love me. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Thank you for the gift. Goodbye. Howdy. I would definitely not kill hey. Rex. Not killing Rex. How's it going, friend? Taking. See if he has any fixer. No fixer. Why is fixer so hard to get? I'm gonna have to slowly collect it over time, I guess. Don't remember exactly what I came here for. I only offer services if the king gives the okay. The king gives the okay? I thought the king... If you haven't heard of the king... The king... Thanks for stopping in. You know what sucks about not rolling the Wild Wasteland perk when we started? I can't get the Pimp Boy 3 billion. But y'all got up here, huh? Just I didn't, let me know if anything catches your eye. I didn't even know they had an upstairs. Programmer's Digest. This place is huge. I heard about some things you've done around town. Nice to know someone is helping out for a change. Sure. All right, let's repair the reach. 4,000 caps to repair the recharger pistol? Are you out of your mind? Have a look. Embrace of the Mantis King, 10,000. I mean, we got some fun stuff in here. Not exactly what I need, though. Are they looking to buy guns? Then talk. Oh, wait, he has a quest. Welcome back, buddy. He has a quest here. How's business? Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we did buy. Good selection from traders, and the Van Graffs keep things running. Jury rigging, I think you need to have 95 repair. You have to have a really high repair. That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stop buying guns all of a sudden. If you hear anything, let me know. Anything else I can help? Nope. That's all, I guess. I don't know why I came all the way back here. Oh, Stealth Boy. How's it going, friend? How's it going, friend? Look. Take a. Oh, it would be an aid. Stealth Boy would, wouldn't it? He doesn't have shit. Maybe there's a Stealth Boy laying around in here? It'd be nice if I could just steal one. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Stealth boy? No. Uh, I'll, I'll, give me one sec, guys. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll let you guys hang out with the stock image of a hacker. I got to run to the bathroom real quick and... Turn my air on him like blazing hot right now. What do we have what do we have in terms of sneaky music? Sneaky tunes. <laughs> it sounds like this. <laughs> All right, you get to listen to music while the hacker finishes hacking. Uh, when his protocol finishes, that's when I'll be back.
Hello. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ugh. Black Ops, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. Mods can't make polls? I did wash my hands. I actually love when people ask it because I always do. It's like, no, no, no. You're not, you're not, you're not hitting me with a gotcha. Oh, right? there. Yeah, we needed, we needed the hacker to turn on NordVPN. <laughs> let me see if, uh, hey, give me one sec. Let me, let me check. Let me see what I can do. I know mods can do it. Maybe, I mean, I know they can do predictions. Let me check for you guys real quick. Whew, I thought we weren't recording for a second. That always freaks me out. Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Zama. Two way poll there, and then you just hit go. Poll, top right of Twitch. Then you'll click on board. Once you click on that, you'll hit new poll, and then that create a new poll comes up. It's quicker to do slash poll as well. Wombat. But that, that's like, that's just the basic how to do a Twitch poll. I know how to do a Twitch poll, but I don't know how to have the mods do it. Nord VPN, more like Boar VPN. Yeah, that was Andrew Tate talking just now. He's in my recommended. I gotta, I gotta finish binge watching his How to Be a Real Sigma series. Uh, it's a two part series uh, that I had to pay five hundred dollars for. I'll leave my affiliate code in the description of the stream after, so that you guys can all become kings. You guys, you guys can all become pyramid daddies with me. Maybe it's somewhere in like mod permissions. Okay, we'll go into moderation. Oh, you want to be gamma? Is that a thing? Shark, you can still you can still be a top G. Trust, trust. I, in in my in my Sigma training class, uh, women can also become top G's. We're gonna be more subscribed uh, to my affiliate program than Andrew Tate's. <laughs> Please, subscriber only chat. No, allows your moderators to view chat and blah blah blah. I don't. I'm not. I don't really see anything in here, man. Kind of disappointing, right? Oh, also, we hit 8,000 followers. Thank you, guys. That's really cool. Took me two years to hit, like, 1,000. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I'm, I'm not, I don't see any settings on Twitch's end for having mods start polls. I'm very sorry. <sighs> That's disappointing. Let me do another Google search. Let me, let me do one more. Because I'd like to figure this out. Can mods run polls on Twitch? Maybe it's a chat command? Creating polls. Polls can be created by streamers from the dashboard uh, and, and new creator dashboard. On your dashboard, for your first poll, click create a new poll. What the heck? What the frick, Richard? Huh? 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 Can my moderators and editors start a poll for me? Channel moderators and editors can create and manage a poll through the slash poll command in chat, which will bring up the poll module. Hold on. Hey, oh, hey, oh. All right, there we go. 
All right. Oh, whew. All right. <laughs> That's your favorite vine. The command isn't working. What the f <laughs> What the heck is going on? Let, let me try here. Open up a setup menu. So when I type in slash poll, it brings up the menu to create a new poll. Slash P O L L. I can see it right there. You don't get that menu. All right, all right, hold on. Then maybe I've got a setting in here for mod commands. Because this is get, this is going to be really nice for a future if the mods can do polls and stuff. And it's really fun if the, if the mods can just start dumb polls throughout the stream, just because it'd be fun. Like I don't want to hold them back from doing that. Next mod view. Click the sword icon. So you guys can click the sword icon. Right? You guys can go into mod view. I think. Apologies, this has kind of slowed things down, but I would like to figure this out. No, baguette and whimsy, no worries. I'm working on it. <laughs> That's the whole Twitch might be in one of its moods. <laughs> I'm gonna set I'm gonna set this chat into emote only. That's how upset I am right now. I've never actually done emote only chat. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the moderator roles in here. All it says is that they have a moderator role. That's it. You only see emote only chat on gambling streams? Really? It's kind of strange, I'm not going to lie. All right, we're 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 going into I'm going into fix the stream goblin mode. Don't let me forget to start a recording. When we get back to the actual gameplay, somebody remind me to continue recording again. Because if I forget, I'll be heartbroken. <laughs> I will be so heartbroken. Oh, Ad knocked him. You're a little early. Just a tad early. So... Whimsy and Baguette, when you guys type slash, like you just type in a slash, do channel commands show up? Like, do you see stuff that you can type in? But you just don't see poll on there. Think it'll rain? Why do I know that? Don't tell me where that quote's from. <laughs> don't, don't tell me. I should know this. Really, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything. That's strange. That's really, really strange. 
We have a hundred VIP slots. What? I I just changed Mickey from mod to uh, VIP. I, how do we have a hundred? I think when Doug raided us, we got a bunch of achievements because there were just so many people in chat at one time. You want to be muted again? <laughs> no, Trucky. Now I'm just going to not mute you. All right, I'm sorry. I will... We'll get back to... Uh... Let's just go back to recording. We've been having fun. Sorry we couldn't get the poll to work. That's disappointing. I'll have to look into that, though. Well, let's get back to what we were doing. Huh? The task at hand. And yes, I did remember to rec uh, continue recording. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so I want to get Fixer. Is there is there a place on the strip that we can get Fixer? At least I can fast travel to the north gate. Right? Nice and easy. Maybe I should talk to the king. Should I should I talk to the king again and see if there's something he can do at Mick and Ralph's, or did I already burn that resource by asking him for money? Because I really want the pimp boy. <laughs> I don't have to, I don't have too many VIPs either. Dehydration level decreased. I don't think I've slept once. Hardcore mode is easy in New Vegas. I can't remember when we've slept. Let's just see if there's any more dialogue we can burn out with the king. Things have been a lot better since. What can you tell me? Who are important people in Freeside? Me, but I don't really like talking about myself. Oh, come on. Garrett That's all you talk about. He only talks about himself. Wouldn't be right not mentioning the Van Graffs, I suppose. And while they're not important in the overall. Who all. Mick and Ralph sell all sorts of things at a small store over by the East Gate. They've done all right by us, and they'll do all right by you. You want to know about anyone else? That's right. That's right. I have to do the Omerta's quest with them. That's how I get it. Okay. Now I remember. Hydrate myself. I am hydrated. Oh, hey, this, is you, rede this is you redeeming hydrate? No, we, we don't do that anymore. Although I am thirsty, so... You want someone dead, really dead? Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the means. Maybe this, maybe... Maybe the Van Graffs have Stealth Boys. I can just steal some of their equipment, sell it back to them and get a Stealth Boy for free. Welcome back. Did you have news for me? Of course. Uh, no. Some of these guns have cleansing flame. Spurtlewood 9700. The Smitty Special. They're so expensive. Welcome back. Seems like a bad neighborhood. What do you think about all the factions? I don't really want to know her opinion on things. Excuse me. Oh, oh, sorry. That was an accident. Hey. I just want to make a quick buck. I should probably take some more grenades. Because I want to take these grenades. Um, what I'm thinking, guys, when we get into one of the casinos... There's going to be a lot of basic NPCs, gamblers, patrons, unnamed NPCs that we can get 50 XP for planting grenades on. We can get a ton of kills, not get caught, and get a lot of XP. Hey. 
Light Knight, you are French. Welcome. Hello. If you are watching from France, that is incredible. You're across the planet. No, 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 I'm not gonna be able to... How did all three of them end up between those two tables? Oh man, I actually lost one of them. Wait. Oh, that was Rex opening the door. I can't move the I can't move the mannequin. <laughs> it's just out of reach. Damn it. Welcome back. Did you Of course. You know what I could do is I could stock up so much expensive stuff with my dog. She only has 109 caps, so we'll sell the laser rifle. Put her into debt a little bit. And maybe I can buy grenades. If she has any. She doesn't have any grenades. So what can I buy? To kind of offset what I'm selling. Okay, nothing. Screw it. I'm just taking the laser rifle. I'm taking the money and getting out of here. I'll come back if I need more grenades. But we have three. What's the goal here? Uh, the goal is to explore as much content as possible. To level up as much as we can. You know, without any extreme exploits. In general, just have fun. Uh, and then make a funny YouTube video about the whole experience. I think one of the biggest uh, things of XP we'll get in one go is when we find Benny. Finding Benny is a pretty big XP chunk. So I couldn't get a stealth boy. That's disappointing. All because I, <laughs> all because I just want to steal the caps from this guy, Caleb McCaffrey, and call it mission I complete. I think that'd be a really funny guys. way to complete the mission. You can't just see. I'm never gonna be able to do it. I guess I am just supposed to kill him. Oh no, there's so much collateral damage. Oh shit. No. Oh. We gotta get out an NCR trooper. Two NCR troopers. A, a, a working girl. A gambler. At least we got our target. And no one noticed a thing. Nice. Undercover. Okay, well. Some collateral damage must happen for great goals to be achieved. Bounty Hunter Duster. Charisma plus one. That's pretty good. His hat. I'll take some ammo. I will take the Duster. The Duster's cool. And a shotgun. Why not? All right. Mission complete, I guess. <laughs> How does how does no one care that <laughs> just five people all went down in one go? I didn't mean for this to happen. All right, this was an accident. You can't hold this against me. But he does have absinthe. What's the gambler suit? Oh, I was gonna say if it increases luck, I might take it. And see our dog tag. Nothing at all there, really. They didn't even have, <laughs> I got 13 caps for that. I'm not putting the stripper outfit on. <laughs> I don't want to put this, I don't want to put the sexy clothes on. Ah, fine. 
Watch out. No. Don't do this now. Why now? You were perfectly fine with it five minutes ago. I'm upset. I'm upset. How? They were all fine. Huh. I'd rather not waste the ammo, kid. But if you insist, draw. Watch out. Hey. Okay, here's what we're gonna- I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna try to initiate the conversation, plant a grenade on him, get a sneak, live kill, and it should be a legal attack. So I wonder if I can do it fast enough to where I can pickpocket, plant a grenade. Thief. Okay, well it doesn't it doesn't work if I get caught. Evening. Ho huh? So the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. No shot if this works. I'd rather not waste the ammo, kid. But if you insist, draw. Hey! Don't run towards me! Oh, don't run towards all of them either! Rex! <laughs> no, Rex! <laughs> oh my god. This couldn't be worse. Rex! <laughs> oh man. Slain in the line of duty. <laughs> All of these brave lives were lost on this day. Oh no. That really backfired, didn't it? But, theoretically it worked. Oh, my head. My head's killing me. Okay. Maybe they won't notice me if I come back with new clothes. I'm only doing this for just proof of concept, but I'm not letting Rex die. <laughs> I'm not letting Rex die. Let's just see if it technically is a legal kill. So let's go back. No way. I just legally committed genocide. <laughs> no way. So it works. We found a loophole in the system. We found a loophole. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the exact same thing again. You're right, you're right. Genocide isn't the right word. Mass murder, whatever you wanna call it. I need to keep Rex in a safe spot. Hey, buddy. Um, use ranged attacks. <laughs> All right, let's get Rex out of the line of fire. Bring him back here into the corner. Come on, Rex. Stay put, boy. I don't want to kill her. She's defying That's gravity and physics. Defying physics with that ass. Oh, well, it's quick save. Okay, we got caught. Damn it. Live grenade. Huh. So the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Now, hopefully he doesn't run towards us. We need him to run <laughs> as an active bomb towards the massive crowd in front of us. I'd rather not waste the ammo, kid. But if you insist, draw. Watch Holy out. shit! Hey, look! And our boy in steel made it out alive. Barely. And our boy Rex. <gasps> Good boy. Good boy, way to avoid <laughs> way to avoid danger. Now follow me. I should probably fix myself up. 
First time I've ever needed to use a doctor bag. Alright, now we'll do what we did last time. We're gonna put the outfit on. Sorry, babe, the exposed prostitute outfit stays on during sex. We go back in. And... Is it legal? Are we free? A few caps, huh? Just the place. I have done it. <laughs> I have done it. Yes, we have gotten away with the greatest single explosion kill in New Vegas history. Completely legal. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> six. Oh my gosh. Six are now dead. May their souls rest in peace. What's the front of the outfit look like? It says wrestling team. I think it's a wrestling singlet. I wrestled one year in high school. I wonder if there's video of it anywhere. There definitely is. I, I had a tape. Um, at the end of our wrestling season, my junior year, we all got a DVD of our wrestling matches. Oh, that would be a fun stream. Would that not be a really fun stream? We could watch me get my ass kicked for like an hour and a half straight. Just watch all my high school matches. I had a two and eight uh, record on varsity. Not to brag, two forfeit wins, eight uh, actual losses in combat. All right, give me the money. I hear you've been helping out around town. It's much appreciated, friend. I, I, my reputation precedes me. Yes. Where's his hat? Oh, that's why I needed the hat. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. Thank I need to find friend, a place sir. on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can I have, have a home? corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Oh, hell yeah, we got a home? We actually have a home base. Interesting. Well, you're gonna need to speak with my brother, James. Wow, we've come a long way in just a short amount of time. Lord Eck, thank you so much for the prime. And thank you for watching the channel. Thanks for stopping by, too. That's three thank yous in a row. A new record. Bye. We are officially liked in Freyside. Let's go barter to 60. Explosives to 20. I'll, I'll just notch it up a little bit. Sneak 55. Why is my unarmed so high? It's at 21. That seems pretty high. I'll throw a couple on medicine. For the giggles. Hey. So I got the corner room. Let's check out our digs. Which one is which one is the corner room? Is it downstairs? Oh, Beatrix is here. Maybe it's all the way upstairs. Definitely not that room. Pick door to Atomic Wrangler. So that's a loading screen. I wonder where that goes. Oh, the corner room. Here we go. Wow. Look at our digs. Rex, we did it. We have a home. Finally, we can decorate this place all we want. I mean, I, I kind of want to decorate this place, right? We should leave. Let's let's put uh, as a memento of taking out McCaffrey. We'll put his shotgun on the shelf here. 
it's not all about <laughs> it's not all about caps and money it's about you know creating a nice livable space not really a whole lot of places that i can store stuff and this wall is pretty empty but at least we have a spot we have a place to uh live i can sleep I feel like 12 hours of sleep, though, is going to make me really hungry and thirsty. Can we sleep with Beatrix? It depends on how much she costs. She might be kind of expensive. All right, we'll, we'll go ask. We'll pay for every single prostitute that we hired. Hey, hey, Beatrix. Yeah. Yep, don't mind me. I'm not a working guy. I, I just, I, <laughs> I'm just supporting the team. That's all. Howdy. I'm in the market for something a little unusual. I'm available, sweetie. But you'll have to do as I say. 25 caps? <laughs> what kind? I thought I was bringing in, like, premium. Uh, 25 seems low, but hey. Meet me upstairs. I'll try to leave you in one piece. Is this TOS? Am I violating a rule here? It's not going to show anything, right? <clears throat> Just a couple of noises. Oh, there's Santiago. Hello, Who's Hadrian? Did we hire Hadrian? Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? <laughs> what the fuck? Excuse me. What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. Oh, so he's a comedian. Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Judging from the economic state of Freeside, they can't be paying you that much. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. All right, you're not funny. You're just being rude. Yeah, go on. Scram. I would have helped you out, but you're not a nice guy. All right, Beatrix, where do we go? I thought I was following you. Howdy. I assume I have to go into the locked room upstairs. Is it the upstairs room? Is this where we go for some action? It's 7 a.m. in the morning. This is how I start my days. Hey. Where are you going? <laughs> is he sneaking off to go be with Fisto? Oh, no, he is. <laughs> where is Fisto? I want to hire him. It. I guess. It is a robot. Beatrix? She's not leaving the bar. I paid for services, Beatrix. Maybe it just broke. What's up, Rex? I'm 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 uh, I must have glitched her out. Alright, let's just pretend. I wanted to just help Beatrix out. We'll give her 25 caps. Hey, there's Fisto. Greetings. Fisto is programmed to please. That will be 10 caps, please. <laughs> it's only 10 caps. Oh my gosh. Thank it's less you. than a hand of blackjack. I will you in your room. Oh, my room. All right. Maybe if I wait for an hour, Fisto will be up there. Oh yeah, here we go. Round two with Fisto. <laughs> there he is. Don't you like I my place? Programmed for your pleasure. Please assume the position. Woohoo! <laughs> but that's the only option. Servos active. We've gotten laid twice now. Wow, that was insane. That was a life-changing experience. I'm glad we all did that together. Thank you for joining me on this journey, guys. All right, so 
what what can we do next i think we could go come to the silver rush for all we could try to get the omertas back to dealing with mick and ralph Well, what I kind of want to do is take these last two grenades that I have and play some pranks on uh, on some gamblers. I mean, we've learned we can get away with murder pretty easily. So is my actually find his ass my sneak level has to be high enough to get my grenades past the guards. Hey, no one Thank but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Oh damn! I don't think my sneak level's high enough. Sunflower, thank you for the tier one three months in advance. You were investing in the future. Three months from now, it will be nearing the end of October. And I'll have about two months from then until uh, I'm doing this full time. So hopefully your investment is worth it. You'll get these back on your way out. So what all do I keep? Oh, I can keep the grenades. Grenades are holdout weapons. Oh, <laughs> yes. All right. The tops is a real snooze fest. I can play blackjack here, but I think I can play blackjack here. There's multiple tables. I don't want to get caught, though. I can also play roulette. Let's look around the Gamora just a little bit. See if we can find an unsuspecting victim somewhere and prank the hell out of him. Your son's birthday month is October. Happy birthday to your son. I think we just got an infinite load screen. If I had to guess, this is an infinite. <laughs> when will it end? The load screen of death. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was it was not responding. That was a crash. <laughs> that was a crash for sure. Your birthday's in Smarch, my favorite fictional month. It is. It's the hacker. It's hey, the it's the stock no hacker. You'll get these back on your way out. It's going to be hard to get away with blowing somebody up. I think next time I level up, I'm going to put every point into sneak. That's a potential target. That could be an easy one to get away with. I, I do need it. I feel like I need a stealth boy, though. But if I get a stealth boy, then all my investment into the stealth skill is probably wasted. Or maybe not. Maybe the stealth boy adds on to an already high sneak skill. And we get a bonus from that. Well, what do we have here? huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. So you followed the call of your desires, all the way to the arms of Joanna. Moi. Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? Mom, I'm scared. Can you please come pick me up? I, uh, I don't know. What does it take? <laughs> Not too bright, huh? It takes caps, honey. 
Lots of them. 100 caps? All right, let's do it. Fine. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Follow me, hun. <laughs> this has been happening too much. I need to stop getting distracted by all these sexy ladies. Stupid sexy Flanders. Now, don't don't look too excited now. She's walking incredibly slow. Okay, we've got a couple of marks right here. We might be able to take them out and get away with it. Joanna, I'll come meet you later. Got two marks. Are they both unnamed? Gambler. Is a real Gambler. I hope they get some new shows soon. All right. I need you to turn around. Turn this way. Face me. Huh. There you go. Good work. Sneak back around this way. Damn it, Rex. I don't want you to get hurt by the bomb. Come over here. Move, in, move into the corner, Rex. You're causing issues. Stay there, boy. I don't, I don't want any witnesses getting in the way. <laughs> no, Pink Puffball, you came in at the right time. Uh, which one would be best to, for... What we could do is we could pickpocket this one. We're hidden. Which means no one sees us. So if we plant a grenade on her, she might run forward and take out the other witness. Holy shit! What have you done? Um, pranked, <laughs> pranked. Yeah, haha. Uh, you're on camera. There's a camera over there. <laughs> shit. You're on an internet TV show. Oh, she's walking away. No, 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 go back to walking. That didn't really work. I also don't know if I got any XP from that. It's, it's so hard to get away. Okay. It also doesn't work if I get caught. We're going to have to rethink this. All right, let's go find Joanna. I paid 100 caps for a reason. Also, I do know that she has a quest. I've done the quest before. Hey there, gorgeous. Okay. I'm not giving you 100 caps. I already paid. Robbed again. I knew it. I keep getting swindled by all the sexy ladies in Vegas. Damn it. I hate this place. <laughs> I don't like it here. Everyone just takes my money. Should have just gone with one of the bungalow babes. I bet Santiago wouldn't break my heart. <laughs> We're going back to the Atomic Wrangler. Fisto is the only consistent one. Oh, I left Rex in the corner. <laughs> Good call. I almost forgot Rex. What the fuck are you looking at? Whoa! What the? I'm Go get him, Rex. <laughs> Rex just starts randomly chasing people down. <laughs> No, don't take out Daisy. Dazzle. Now you're just Rex, 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 Rex. Enough. Down, boy. <laughs> Stop it. It's because they're all wearing hats. I knew it. Oh, my God. She's just going to murder everybody. Stop it. Rex, we were just supposed to prank one of them. And it was because they were rude. Cthulhu, thank you for watching the channel. We'll have more soon, hopefully. Uh, thank you for coming by. Apologize, please. What's up? Oh, now you're cordial. Don't talk to me. The tops is a real snooze fest. I hope they get some new shows soon. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> Just having a casual conversation interjected with what the fuck are you looking at? Whoa, that is aggressive. 
That's an incredibly aggressive way to tell someone off. There are way more polite ways to be rude. Now that sounds like an oxymoron, but trust me. Like, uh, you could say, yeah, I really got to get going. I can't talk for long, sorry. It was nice to meet you, but I got to go. There are plenty of ways to just say, what the fuck are you looking at, <laughs> right? Sorry, I'm not familiar with you. Well, we could go get our XP by finding Benny. It's hard to sleep in this place. What happened to you? What? What? Who are you? What is going on? I think... Now, I have a theory. Is it possible? I mean, he's losing a leg. Clear evidence of explosive damage. Do you think the live grenade that we planted on that side of the gate somehow glitched out alongside these NPC schedules? Their dead bodies were teleported? Okay, so we've got a traveler with one leg and we've got an NCR trooper. Lady, long black hair. Let's go to the other side of the gate and count the remaining bodies. Remember there were six, including Caleb McCaffrey. One, two, three, no four. Four dead bodies. There were six earlier. So something ethereal, some ghost on the strip is moving dead bodies alongside their predetermined NPC no schedule and placing them over here. What is going on? <laughs> what the f Why? You know what? This, it, it just works. It, it works. It works. It's so beautifully broken. I love it. Blark, how you doing, man? It is. It's, it's pretty yellow and brown. I love it, though. Uh, I don't know if I want to rip off the Band-Aid of Benny yet. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Let's do, let's go back to the Gamora. Let's just kind of go along the strip in chronological order. So let's go back to Gamora, talk to the Omer. Traveler. Missing a leg. Traveler missing a leg. Is that the same one? Let's check his inventory. Tinted reading glasses, caravanier outfit. Kind of looks like Harry Potter. He actually really looks like Harry Potter. Hey, hold on. I'm, I'm more invested in this mystery right now. What is going on with the transplanting of NPCs? NCR Ranger. Long black hair. Sure, Traveler. Missing a leg. Tinted reading glasses. Caravaneer outfit. Looks like Harry Potter. What do you think is going on here, Rex? NCR, okay, now, remember this stance. Remember this pose. She's, okay, let's uh, take it easy. Take it easy with the arm placement there, ma'am. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. It's, it's moving them. Same spot. Same pose. If we move the body here, now let's take her head and let's just flip her completely around. All right, her legs are coiled up a little bit more. Let's go back through the gate. This is why I love this series. What? His arm is still glitched underground. Wow. This is one of the this is one of the crazier glitches I've ever seen. Even his leg, everything moves. 
That's strange. That's really, really strange. Hey, no one but. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll get. I'm keeping my explosives. I'm keeping my explodey balls. I'm glad they don't just let any mother. I think I can talk to this guy. Oh yeah, I forgot the floor manager here. He's got uh, angry. Uh, what's that syndrome? I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. Okay, we're not supposed to talk to him. I think I gotta make my way up to like the manager's floor. Business is good. All the family's got money. Of course, Gamora is where the action is. Hello, hello. Who are you? What the fuck are you looking at? What the, why does everybody have to talk to me like that? Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at? Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. You guys are all giving me mixed signals. Do you like me or do you hate me? You're either cordial or you absolutely despise my guts. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino and they set me up at this great room. See ya. Nice talk. Ooh, bloody handprint. Whoa. What's going on in here? You don't mind if I just wander into your murder room? Apparently not. He doesn't really seem to care. No, dog meat, don't come in here. I mean Rex. Muscle memory. I just call him dog meat. Jesus, man. Even the bathroom? Hey, at least the toilet's clean. Mmm. Can't have enough toilet. Walk into a stranger's room, drink out of their toilet, refuse to elaborate. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> I'm glad they don't just let any motherfucker through the gate. Free side smells like shit. Okay, we've got a locked door right here. I wonder if we can get the key off of anybody. No key. He's got a good amount of ammo. It's probably pretty hard to get someone's gun, though. You look like someone that has a key. No key. Alrighty then. I know there's an important businessman room somewhere. Oh man, tons of locked doors. Hard, very hard. Be sure to check out the courtyard. Some Whoa. of the hottest asses in New Vegas shaking out there. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> hey, don't talk to Rex like that, man. Come on, he's got brain problems. <laughs> Leave him alone. Why do you get why? why? We're, we're just adventurers, okay? We're looking for fun. And the key. Where the hell is the key, Clandon? Give me the key. Zaora Club Key. Nice. He has three grenades on him, too. I want those grenades. Yes, I'm going to quick save after every Thief. grenade. <laughs> Thief. Damn it. Thief. Oh, come on, Clandon. You were very cooperative. The Stop it. You were very cooperative the first two times. Why did I get greedy? All right, you're starting to piss me off, Clandon. Fuck off. <laughs> Clandon, I'm going to give you one of these grenades back if you don't start cooperating. Oh, my gosh. Stop it. All right. I'm over this. Fine. Fine. Keep your grenades. I'm done. I quit. At least I got the key. Nothing really important down here. 
Atomic cocktails are valuable, though, so I'm taking them. This video is probably going to be really long. Now that I think about it, and as we're going through the quests, I don't know how, how am I going to not talk about each place in depth? How am I supposed to leave out a guard pointing randomly in the direction like there's an intruder, not elaborating, being cordial with me, and then telling my dog to fuck off? That's, I just can't leave something like that out of the video. NCR should do their fucking job. All right, let's see if we can get a... Oh, you know what? The door on the end of this hallway was locked and there's no one guarding it. Let's be quick. Let's get through. All right. Rex? Rex? Would you act normal for two seconds, Rex? Damn it, the key doesn't get in here? The key might only work for wherever the Zoora Club is. Ah. This is the door. Okay, the guard's by himself. This is our opportunity. We gotta take Zora it. Is always open for business. Shit, that guard's gonna see us. I have to somehow... Where are you? Are you, are you announcing where you're going next? I will go through this door! Right here. This is where my path takes me. Let's figure this out here, because if we can take out these two guards, we have the grenades to do it. I don't think there's enough foot traffic in here to not get caught or to get caught. Clandon is, you know, being Clandon. This might be our only shot. Is the guy in the other room really going to notice? Don't point at my dog like that. He's too close to the door. I need him to be a little bit further from the door. Oh shit, Clandon's down the... Don't point at Clandon. Clandon, go back into the room. Oh, for God's sake, Clandon. You're ruining the whole mission right now. And all of the screaming is really distracting me. Crispin, thank you for the 200 bits. Heads up. Go get him, Rex! Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Rex. Oh shit, Clandon's freaking out. <laughs> Clandon's lost his mind in the back room. <laughs> now hold on. Was I caught? Was I caught? Good to see you again. Hope you're winning <laughs> some money in here. Hey, thanks, Clandon. I really appreciate it, but I gotta go. I was just checking in. Later. I got away with it. I did it. Rex, you're a genius. Thank you. Oh man, all this screaming in the background is so gonna get this video age restricted. I'm gonna have to turn the in-game volume down. Ammo, some machine gun worth 900. And the elevator is now clear. We got a lot of XP from that too. Okay. Now we're in, we're in some dangerous territory, buddy. A very hard lock. There's definitely something in there. You don't have a door like that unless there's an objective. Uh oh. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. He's part of a part of a quest. We can't. That was an important person, Rex. All right, don't want to fail the quest. I'm going to clip your sorry ass. 
<laughs> he's gonna clip me. Oh no, he's he's in Twitch chat. I'm gonna clip your stream and embarrass you. So what I think we can do is I can probably position myself in this corner. Is is Rex getting caught? It might be that Rex is getting caught. So hey, come here. Wait right here. Let's take out this other guard here. Because if we're able to tactically if we're able to tactically take out a few guards, then we can probably get some XP, not ruin the quest. Yeah, we were at the murder room earlier, I think. Damn, I can't. Oh, it's not working. I, I can't pickpocket him. I, I, I think I have to just do it at like lightning speed. So can I do it like I'm going to make mince. No, it doesn't work. I can't do it quick enough. What if we do something like this? Okay, well, I'm going to auto run forward. Or I'm just going to run forward, jump, quick save. Quick load while moving forward. Oh, I was going to try and clip the door. I'm going to make mincemeat out of you. Okay, so he'll still detect me through the door. Eat shit. Thank you. Fuck, sir. Now that was rude. I don't know how he detected me that time. Candle. Oh, I thought that was Candle who said, Krieger, thank you for the tier one. Are they are the guards automatically attacking me because of the fight from earlier? No. Oh shit they are. Sh shoot. That's really bad. That's really, really, really bad. Okay, can I? So for some reason Clandon doesn't care. Can I at least put on a suit? Can I disguise myself as an Omerta? I don't think I can. I gotta get out of here. If, if Oh no. If I go down to the lobby now, I'm gonna get killed. I was gonna try and do the quest for the Pimp Boy 3 billion. I, I have to try, I think I have to try and get out of the casino without getting caught. Maybe reset the regression? Oh no. No, 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 Rex, Rex, Rex. We can't do this. This is not good. Both of my saves are in really bad positions. Because if I come back to this save, I think the guy's going to catch me. I'm going to make mincemeat out of you. <sighs> Shit. I just quick saved again. Oh, no, I didn't mean to quick save. This is my other save. Oh no, I just I just ruined my game. Let's see, can I turn around and go back? Stop, 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 stop. Don't don't do this. Don't do this. Please don't follow me. I think it was only on caution. It wasn't on danger. I didn't ruin my reputation with them though. So if I can find a bed to sleep in. Over here. Now Clandon attacks me? Do no attack? way. Clandon, you bamboozled me. Clandon absolutely bamboozled me. All right, I've got to... I've got to try and take out that guard by the stairs, I guess. This has become a really weird scenario. How the hell am I going to get out of this? I'm not going to be able to sneak. All right, he's going to detect danger and then boom. Now he's pissed. I'm going to Oh, wrong one. <sighs> 
We just got to think through this. I mean, I think the safest way to not keep anybody mad at me... Well, <laughs> that almost worked. Not, not as well as I'd like it to. That was a horrible throw. Need a better throw. Didn't quite kill him. Crap. Still no change in reputation. Cannot wait when enemies are nearby. Let's try that again. So I can wait when I'm out here. What I want to try and do is kill that guard and then wait. If I'm able to kill that guard in one hit, or I guess kill them without getting caught, what will the outcome be? Do I have my bonus stats? No, I have my negative stats. It's too late. So I'm going to wait. Here's what we're going to do. Might be risky, but if I wait until 8 a.m., I'll have a buff in my stats, and that should give me the bonus that I need to one-shot this guy. Because instead of minus one, I'll have plus two to all my special. That'll make me sneak better. It'll make my grenade do more damage. Seems like that worked all right. Killed him in one hit. Math. And I can still wait, so enemies are no longer nearby. Or it's not recognizing enemies nearby. Oh, poor guy. We just turned him into a pile. Sorry, sir. It had to be done. These doors are still locked. We, we can't open them. But we were able to steal, you know, 55 XP. So I guess what I'll do is, you guys have all said wait for two days in-game. I'll do that. Let's wait for two days. I can't handle this, this screaming. I wonder, I wish there was, I, I, bleh, not that I wish there was, I bet there's a mod to turn off the screaming in the Gamora hallways. It doesn't even sound enjoyable. It sounds painful. Uh, Kenny, it's the, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's, it's a trait. And when we made our character to keep it in theme with being stuck in Vegas, we just did a randomly generated character. First try, one pick, that's all we got. So we let it roll and it picked our traits for us. All right, I'm really dehydrated and hungry. But for some reason, I'm not tired. My sleep level... I stood here for 48 hours straight, and I'm not tired. <laughs> that's that's broken. Iguana bits, grilled mantis. No longer have hunger sickness. Oh, wow, I'm very thirsty. Incredibly thirsty. No longer thirsty. Should be good on food. Yeah. Pretty easy. All right, let's go downstairs. I mean, we could see if Clandon attacks us just to test it, but might as well just go downstairs. Oh my god, it worked? No, it didn't work. Stop it. Stop. I really thought it was going to work. Why did I have to jinx it? But they, did, they didn't aggro too quickly, so let's... I'm still hidden.
Now they're attacking me. Who's that crippled? Oh no, stop it, Rex! Can Rex kill them without me getting caught? Rex, don't attack the dealer. Stop it, Re Rex, he just wants to play, <laughs> he just wants to play roulette. <laughs> now we're back to being hidden. No one knows. We haven't failed any quests. We haven't lost any reputation. Let's create ourselves a checkpoint here. We're creating a new timeline. Not detected. And it's during the time of day where we have all of our bonuses. Our special is really jacked up. That puts our sneak at 60. Let's just see what happens. Maybe it's possible, right? My theory right now, okay. Oh, I did lose strip reputation. How did I, I didn't see the uh, notification. Still neutral. Still hidden. Caution. I'm gonna clip your sorry ass. And then he found me. What I want to know is who is this person that's crippled? I got an idea. Let's pull a little prank. If we can still keep getting sneaky kills though, without failing the quest. Detected, hidden. Damn it. Heads up. Rex, you good? Oh, I almost killed Rex. Rex, get back in here now. Hey, let's take a little break. Okay, Rex? Uh-oh. That's a lot of red dots. That's not good. Let's go upstairs. Back to the sweets level. Everything should be good on the sweets level for us. So the sweets level is pretty safe. Very nice. Is there an exit out of here? You're supposed to wait three days to remove aggression. All right. If it's three days, let's leave Rex up here. I mean, we've gotten a ton of XP from taking out guards. So that I don't want to give up. I really like where that set us up. Why did his goo move? Is the goo moving in schedule like the dead bodies outside? What is happening? So I'm going to wait three days, which might actually <laughs> kill me of dehydration. Yeah, we Caesar, we waited for two days before and my needs were pretty bad. Mainly water, but I think I'll still survive if I go three days. The uh, the hardcore mode needs have been much more forgiving than I thought they would be. Much, it's much more forgiving than uh, survival mode in Fallout 4. It's it's actually pretty easy. The only thing that I guess would suck in a normal playthrough is like doctor bags, stim packs healing pretty slowly. But for our play style and how we've been playing this, it hasn't been too much of a hindrance. But right now, in this scenario, now it starts to add up. This is where hardcore mode really is affecting us. 
So we're at food 197. Yeah, H2O 591. Sleep is down. Not as much as I thought it would be. Let's wait one more day. Now, is it supposed to be three days and then I have to leave and then I have to go back? How does that work? I guess we'll find out. But these are the these are the kinds of things that I really enjoy when we do these challenges challenge in massive air quotes is getting ourselves into a predicament like this and having to learn things about the game engine and its AI in order to get out of it in order to solve a problem. Yes, ideal. We are recording for a video on the channel. So we'll leave Rex up here. Oh, please. Please work. I'm going to give myself another checkpoint. Fingers crossed. Please work. Fuck not at home. Must be cozy up. Oh. I'm going to make mincemeat out of you. I'm going to clip your sorry ass. Damn. Damn it. Well, there's plenty, there's plenty of food and dirty water still in that little hut. Uh, fill you in, ideal. So we're about four and a half-ish, probably closer to five hours because of reloading saves and trying to get through stuff. But we're doing the strip in Freeside without leaving the strip in Freeside. And it's, uh, we're in a bit of a predicament right now. I'm trying to escape Gamora without, you know... I want to reset their aggression so that I can come back in here and freely complete any quest that I need to. The way I'm reloading and saving my game is breaking. I think it's breaking NPC dead bodies. So do you guys think, actually, would it work if I just bolt, go somewhere else? I'm just going to bolt. I'm going to leave Rex so that Rex doesn't kill everybody when we get downstairs. I'm going to run out of here. Go, go, go. Excuse me. Sorry. Please don't kill me. It was a prank. It was all a prank. I mean, a very violent prank and definitely on purpose, but a prank nonetheless. Okay, let's just go back to Freeside. Let's go back to Freeside, get our water back. Let's get our needs met, figure all that out. Right, maybe I had to just leave the casino. But what happened was I wanted to play it cute and plant some live grenades in the pockets of guards because live grenade kills get you 50 XP. And XP is few and far between. But 50 just for planting a few grenades is decent. So a couple of the guards, I took them out and it seemed to not affect anything. So I was like, hell yeah, I'll take the XP. And then based on how I was saving my game to try and stay alive or just give myself a, a point where I could goof off, I got stuck. I, I was in a loop where I could either lose an hour and a half of progress or put myself in my predicament where now people are hostile. I had thought that I gamed the system and everything was going to work out fine because a couple of the NPCs weren't hostile. Then all of a sudden, a few of them did go hostile. It seemed delayed, though. It was weird how it was playing out. Um, actually, I think I want to get out of here. Hello. I want to go check out that little hut. I can probably afford to just pay the person at the pump since I can't complete that quest yet. Fixer. It's hard to find 10 fixers. But either way, I mean, that was a fun, 
it, it, it's it sucks that we didn't fully break it i'm always disappointed when we can't get it to go our way god that would have been satisfying if we got the game to just agree with us that we were safe but i'll still consider it a victory if leaving puts us in a position where we can still go get our dog back because our dog right now is stuck <laughs> Ooh, I did take all the water from here, didn't I? Yeah, it looks like I'm out of water. That's okay. We can go get more. Unless there's Sunset Sarsaparilla. How do you pronounce it? Is it Sunset Sarsaparilla or Sarsaparilla? Do you, do you, do you, is the R silent? It's got to be the only word with a silent R. It's sass. Remove the companion using the terminal and the lucky 38. That's a good idea. I want to save the lucky 38 though and Benny. I kind of want to save them. The, the king controls. If we. Purified water costs 25. Yikes. Just a few caps for a good long swig. Don't get wise. We charge per you. Bye. All right, I'm going to quick save. Can I just keep drinking? He's giving me a look. He doesn't like it. <laughs> I'm still going. Not apologizing. I'm taking up as much as I can. Slurp it down. H2O at zero. Now we just got to go sleep and we'll be all right. Big gamer boy, you've watched many of my videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you, kind sir. Brooke, thank you for the prime. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. And I hope your weekend treated you with many amazing memories. Want to get lucky? We'll give you Head the on means. down to the Atomic Wrangler. All right, so you guys still think that I need to wait three days before going back to the Atomic Wrangler. I think we could just naturally let three days go by and uh, just complete some other content. There's still plenty of us to go through or plenty for us to go through. Let's get a nice 18 hour nap in because this will bring us back to 6 a.m. We'll have our bonus stats. So we get our bonus stats back at 6 a.m., right? We can go to the Ultra Lux. We can do the Cannibal Quest at the Ultra Lux. Everybody loves a good old Cannibal Quest. I don't know what it is with Fallout and Cannibal Quest, but they're always awesome quests. But that one is a, that's a heavy hitter quest, and I almost want to save that one. We could gamble. That won't last long. Look at you. You look like a talent scout for a cemetery. This guy right here, he's got an angel looking over his shoulder. If I were him, I'd get a restraining order. The more I think of you, the less I think of you. My friend, you've got style, grace, and charm. The style of a feral ghoul, the grace of a... Crowd's soul, loving it. And the charm of Crowd's a loving it. He's... he's if you had He's crushing it. Again, let me make a suggestion. Play in traffic. Was that okay, that was kind of that was kind of a funny one, right? It was. If I had to well, give you a suggestion, you play in traffic. Buddy, you look tough enough to drink a pint of glowing water. Save until I get enough XP for the cannibal perk. Now that's not a bad idea. Oh, you're clumsy. You're so clumsy when you slip in the shower, you fall up. Hey, look at this guy. Hey, <clears throat> dude, you're telling jokes to nobody. All right, move over, move over. Come on, this is my show now. Well, if it isn't my number one fan. Can we just casually interrupt his show? He doesn't care. He'll walk off stage. All right, this is my microphone now. Um. Hello there. So, uh, 
How about, how about airplane food, huh? Huh? You know, they give you little bags of peanuts or pretzels. What's up with that, huh? Thank you. Thank you. I really try. I'm really trying out here. I, I, I have a stand-up joke that I've been workshopping for a few years now, and it involves um, how humans are actually the dumbest species alive because we're the only species on the planet dumb enough to just, like, uh, place their own kind into giant metal tubes and launch them into space. I'm still workshopping it, okay? I don't have the punchline down. It's taken a few years, but I'll get there. All right. I drunkenly delivered it one time in my apartment in college and everyone loved it. Crushed with the crowd. But I don't remember it. <laughs> I don't remember how it all went. I'll get there. I'll get there. Cataclysm, how are you? Good to see you. I hope your streams have been going well. Any water. What am I doing? I'm like I'm 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 almost getting lost. Mick and Ralph's. I don't think there's anything left on Freeside. Am I missing anything on Freeside? You left your complimentary cookies on the plane? I'm sorry. I'm genuinely heartbroken for you. Did I finish the followers quest? Oh, that's right. I can bring them. Do Why don't I just check my quest list? House always wins. Okay, so we can talk to Mr. House. We can find Benny. We can't do Rex's quest. 10 doses of fixer. That'll be tough to do. Deliver the package. Can't do that. Sierra Madre. Can't do that. 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 Can't, do that. can't talk to Sunny Smiles. And I can do that one, but that involves talking to Benny. Because when we talk to Benny, we're going to get a shitload of XP. It'll count as completing multiple quests. So. We're at an impasse right now. We're at an impasse right now. We've already had sex with the robot. Multiple times. We went back for seconds. <laughs> uh... Is there actually, is there any challenges in this game that involve fornicating with NPCs? Because we should go for it. <laughs> we should go for any achievements that involve sleeping with NPCs. Is it in general? Is there a way you can track the challenges? Oh, yes. All right, so there's a bunch of gunrunner arsenal challenges. Kill President Kimball with any one-handed pistol. White line nightmare. Kill fiends, vipers, or jackals. You don't belong in this world. Kill abominations. Kill super mutants. Unarmed weapons, mutated animals. Energy weapons. All right, let's, let's look through these. I don't think there are. Maybe there's just an achievement. Oh, next challenge type. Damage challenges, other challenges. It's probably in here. Drink water items. That's actually not a bad one. We could we could definitely buy a bunch of water and get XP that way. Explode enemy pants. Hey, we're going to get that challenge eventually. We need to explode 18 more enemy pants. We've already done it seven. Artful pit pocketer. I should just start casually picking pockets. Speech failures. That's a good challenge. I don't know if we'll be able to fail a hundred speech challenges, though. There's no challenge for sleeping with people? Aw. Oh. That's actually sad. Dead man's hand. Heal with food. 10,000. I gotta heal 10,000 health. One out of 25 doctor bags. Dismember limbs? We've only dismembered 22 limbs. I feel like I've done better than that. A lot of these are from the DLC.
Complete quest. Alright, if we complete one more quest, we'll get an achievement. It feels like we've completed more than four quests, though. Speech successes. Heal with stim packs. Am I supposed to use 10,000 stim packs or heal with 10,000 stim packs? Oh, I've only used one stim pack, so that makes sense. There's a challenge for completing challenges. I love this one. Discover locations. Two. We've discovered two. Sell items through barter. I guess we could sell ammo to get that one. And these two we've completed. Kill challenges, damage, and other. I guess there's not a ton of challenges for us to do. A little disappointing. Are they cheering that... All right, have some tact. Don't cheer for the dead bodies. Oh, they're, they're really, they're really, they're just going to dance. <laughs> they really didn't like this guy. <laughs> they were not big fans. Just continue. Oh, yeah, it's a party over here. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> Nope. It's nope. Place, Not you. happening. <laughs> Not today. So, I mean, that's it. We got the Ultra Lux. We've got... Ah! No, that quest is going to involve going into Gamora. I was thinking we could do the quest where... Should we just take out Benny? Should we get Benny one-on-one? -on -one, take him down? Let's do it. Let's let that'll be a ma it'll be a massive chunk of XP. We might level up twice at least one time. I'm going to put all the points into sneak cuz I want to start really pickpocketing people and just being a little bastard. So let's do it. Hey, hey fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Hungry? Or maybe you'd rather take... Have a good time, baby. I just realized I don't have any explosives. How am I supposed to survive without my explosive balls? I might have to go back and get more explodey balls. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm almost positive there's a, there's a speed run category for boning. Well, there's Benny. If I just leave... I can't not take out Benny by exploding his pants. We need to go get more bombs. Don't question it. Should be able to get more grenades. If I leave without confronting Benny, he'll leave and I can't get- Whoa, 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 whoa. Good thing I quick saved beforehand, huh? Ooh. That would have been close. That was a- that would have been a whoopsie. Alright, so now we technically haven't been to the tops. New timeline. I'm creating my own multiverse within the strip. Are you guys feeling the suit? Do we like the suit? Should I? Oh, <laughs> I'm walking into signs. It's just face planting on my way. Is it? Is it? Land jump. We'll give you the means. I 
I don't know how to do it. It's really hard to learn. Are there any sewer entrances, Augie, in the space of Freeside? Or is there a sewer entrance on the strip? Because I would allow it. We're watching you closely. No, you're not. You're doing the exact opposite of watching me closely. There's not a planet that exists where... Oh my god, they've stepped up their game. They've really stepped it up here. Security's tightened. We need a new, we need a new method. Where'd the other grenade go? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, Gloria. I'll, I'll be out of your way here in two seconds. We're watching you closely. All right, nice and easy. Are there any more grenades on this shelf? I think there are. Ah. Whoop. <laughs> I'm not the most deft thief. I just would like to I would like to inspect your wares closely on my own. There we go. Lift that. All right, four more grenades. That's it though. I mean, I've really taken everything I can from them. I don't think four days of, or three days have passed. Thank you for visiting New Vegas. Skinny, I've, I've answered this question before about Red Dead. That one's just on hold until I know what we're doing with it. I have no clue. Sure, later. Uh, this is the really bad comedian, right? Billy Knight? Hey, come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to cut you off. Continue, please. Jeez, some people. He's really bad. The the ghoul in the other bar is much better. Sorry. I'm here to have a good time, not talk to random people. Can't harvest any of that. No, no reason to. All right, let's blow up Benny's pants. I've been looking forward to this. I want his clothes. I'll have to put his outfit in the thumbnail. Hey, hey fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. Twelve hundred XP, and we get the challenge, so that counts as a quest complete. So we get a level up, we're halfway to level nine. Putting it all in sneak. So we've got the professional, up close and personal, that's how you like it. Your sneak attack criticals with pistols, revolvers, and submachine guns with their guns or energy weapons all inflict an additional 20% damage. That's pretty good. It's the only high skill perk we can take. So I think we're going to take it. I like playing into sneak. Let's go with it. <clears throat> I'm going to have to quick save again. I want to play this right. Let's just hey. surprise him. This isn't a face you could forget. Matthew Perry finally meets Matthew Perry. Worlds are colliding. Hey, hey! What in the goddamn? You're goddamn right. Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves like smooth little babies. So, hold on. 
I don't think I can actually get him to go up into the room with me, can I? Ask him something only the real Matthew Perry would know. Hmm. Did you really enjoy this role? Come on, you phoned it in, didn't you? I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or are you just thick-skulled? Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere as more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Oh. Ugh. I have to have speech 60, don't I? I can... I can buff my speech... I mean, I, I can do a barter skill check, right? But I won't be able to get him up into the room. And I need to get him into the room in order to A, you know, explode his pants, but B, kill Benny without the entire strip hating me. Yeah, Benny's Benny is only Black Widow. Where's my manners? Wait for me and the president. So that's not going to work. I mean, he gives me some chips and some cash, which is cool and all. Don't get too close to Mr. Benny. But I can't kill him without taking out all of his bodyguards and the rest of the strip. I got my eye on hating you. me. It's so no funny business. Hello. So let me let me think. My speech is at 35 right now. What time of day is it? Noon. I don't think my Yeah, I don't think my perk was active. So my speech is It was at 35. What am I wearing that increased it? That's barter plus 5. This is speech plus 5. So why was it 35 in conversation with him? Oh, my speech must be 30 flat. So I need to increase it by 30. Two points of charisma would increase it by... What would, what would two points of charisma increase it by? Ah, oh, crap. I screwed myself over with quick saves. Hey, hey, fellas. So, hold on. Hold on for a second. I haven't leveled up yet. This is speech plus five. Charisma plus one. So, I guess I can at least do the math. Charisma plus one there. So, now my speech is at 32. But it's plus. So I must have I must have started that conversation with him right before the benefit ran out. Right before it was the right time. Scotch is charisma plus one. So if I drink scotch. And today's physician won't help me. Are are is there booze that I can combine? Can I, can I combine alcohol and stack the effects on charisma? Each one is only going to be a plus two to charisma. Let's just, let's just see where this takes us. So we have a... I need to find clothes that will also give me... That's speech plus five. Oh, I wish I had a hat. I wish I had a hat that gave me a speech bonus. So we're going to instead put all of our points from the level up on speech. That takes us to 40. Can cannibal. Oh, 
I'll take the cannibal perk. Why not? It might come cannibal perk might come in handy during the quest at the ultra lux. So now in the right time, it's 50. What if I found a meeting people magazine meeting people magazine locations? It's plus 10 speech. I'm 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 googling on my phone right now. Camp Golf, Camp Oh, there's one in Gamora. Oh my god, and there's there's one in the presidential suite. There's a meeting people magazine in the room where he would take us. I need to get one of their hats. How can I get one of their hats? I'm gonna give myself a checkpoint here. If I go in here and leave, does he disappear? He's still here. I got an idea. I got an idea. This is really stupid, but maybe it works. Can I steal his key? Get into the presidential suite? Get the meeting people magazine and come back down? Keep those hands where I can see him. So we get the presidential suite key. I'm going to give myself just another checkpoint. Go up here. Meeting people. Go down. There's Benny. What time is it? Thank you, kind sir. 12.16, so I lost my bonus. I'm going to wait for 22 hours. It'll be 8 a.m. We take the Meeting People magazine. We have 60 speech. We get him up in the room. We explode his pants. Whew, please work. Please work. I'm going to be so ecstatic if this works. There he is. There's Benny. Meeting People. Speech 60. <laughs> What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves like smooth little babies. I. What? To start. I, Two conditions lose the bodyguards, and we both go to the suite now. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Cannot no, believe we got that to work. Oh my god. Whew. Let's go. So, uh, I'm going to reload. So, okay, now that we got this working, I'm going to give myself a checkpoint. We got a, we got a clean checkpoint right there, right where we want it to be. But now I'm going to go back and load my quick save from before. And what I want to see is... If leaving the Lucky 38, I just want to confirm what chat was saying before. If we leave the Lucky 38 and come back in, will he leave? Will he disappear? So we'll leave. We'll wait an hour because we probably would have fast traveled or, you know, done whatever. Back to the tops. Hey, hey, fellow. Sure, take my stuff. Don't really care. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me. And move past. Chat, did you lie to me? He's right there. There's Benny. Benny's still there. Hello. But what I would have done, I, I don't think I would have been able to get the skill points I needed. I could have gone. Could I have gone to Gamora? 
gotten meeting people there. I'm trying to think because my speech would have been at 35. I would have looked for a hat to give me a bonus in speech. He only runs away after you speak to him. All right, well, either way, we got it to work. Who cares? Who cares? We convinced him. I think I still would have needed to spend the level up on it. We were just able to get all the points we needed without leaving. And there is our victim. There lies Benny, whose pants are going to be incredibly hot. <laughs> so, uh, I've proven it. You don't need the Black Widow perk to get into Benny's pants. you and me's got some privacy, I gotta... What? Luck is for losers, baby. Someone pulled No, 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 wait, Benny, no, I need to get Once into your you pants. Vertical, how'd you track me down? I'm persistent. That's how I found you. Yeah, that's one word for it. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me. You help me and before long the chairman will rule all of Vegas, dig? You'll get a sweet juicy. All right, that all sounds good. I just need you to end the conversation so I can, you know, give you a pooper exploder. It's a deal. Jackpot, baby. I knew we'd see eye to eye. Here's a start on your retainer. Don't there can only be one Matthew one Perry in town, and it's going to be me, damn it. As long as you want it. When you're ready to saddle up, come find me down on the casino floor, and we'll plan the next step of this caper. Ring-a-ding, baby. Ta-ta. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Goodbye, Benny. Holy shit! Now that was hot. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will take your awesome, cool golden gun, the platinum chip, and your cool outfit, and another level up, of which I'll just put it all into sneak. Look at us go. The real Matthew Perry. <laughs> I'm the only Matthew Perry allowed out here. Get out of my sight, Benny. Move along, Chandler. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Yeah. Success. And some free cash. I don't really like this place, though, as much as the one I have at the Atomic Wrangler. The Atomic Wrangler has personality. This is too bourgeois for my taste, you know? The Atomic Wrangler, it's where we started. It's in Freeside. Benny suit, barter plus five, speech plus five. I love it. Love it already. I wish I didn't have to create this giant mess behind the bar, but whatever. Gets the job done. So are they all going to be mad at me now? Hey, there's the high roller. <laughs> hey, you're right. There's me. You know it. Welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you all for your help. Thanks for being nice to me. You know, we could go talk to Yes Man, I guess. Might as well while we're here. We can't quite take over everything, but... Could have a talk with him. Leg Mac, how are you? Where's this? Oh, the door. It's it's in a really weird spot. This door. This place is the bee's knees. Hello. At least the people here are nice. It's not like at Gamora, where every other thing people say is just <laughs> get the fuck out of my face. Gamora is really rude. I think it's that it's in that big double door room. 
now that we're up here... Oh. Sorry. Excuse me. Might as well steal some free XP. Holy shit! Oh, we can eat him. Mmm. Nice. I've always wanted to eat chairman. Mmm. Tastes good. <laughs> Tastes a grand meal. Benny would be proud if he knew what we were doing to his faction. They don't care. I actually got away with it. This is incredible. Fuck. Stay away from me. Stay, stay away. Hey, that don't belong to you. So keep your grubby mitts off it. As long as that doesn't ruin our relationship, then I'm fine. We good? We're all good? Cool. Appreciate it. All right, yes man should be in here. Ah, there you are. Did you guys ever watch Nickelodeon as kids or more accurately Nick Jr.? And during commercial breaks or before commercial breaks or between shows, there was a character known as Face. And Face would, he was like the DJ of Nick Jr. This is who Mr. Yes Man always reminds me of. Hey, hi there. And who I assume is inspired by. What can I do for you today? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. As I understand it, but then my neurocomputational matrix was completely reprogrammed to be nice. Very, very nice. Sure, Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but <laughs> a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well... I love how happily and excited he's uh, like chip could upgrade talking about, somehow. like, uh, espionage and shit. Guess, though, the chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there. Oh, he wanted to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then I guess I just do as I'm told. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess he is a, he's a golden retriever. I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? That was stupid. Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't have wanted me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Hope to see you soon. Do I get XP for completing these? Or not yet. I assume I get a fat wad of XP for installing Yes Man. Don't you just love that? If I... That is unless you want to bring the NCR or Caesar's Legion. What? You know. All right, let's move this along. Yes Man. It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. Mr. House is... Wow. Do you have any idea? 
Seems a little mean to use his invitation against him like that, but I'm sure it's all for the best. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna hate it. He was gonna get into the lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. Of course you do. Sorry about that. And it's wonderful that you do. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. No, no, no. Yes, man. That's an incredible word. We love that word. Sorry if that was getting boring. All right. So we can take out Mr. House. That would leave some content left, but that's a big chunk of XP. And part of me wants to get that big chunk of XP. Level up my sneak even more. Because I'm starting to notice that it's getting increasingly easier to just sneak right next to people without getting caught. But I'm not quite there. I'm not to the point where Sneak is broken. I almost want to get Sneak to level 100. I think it would be fun. The eyes of the mighty Kaisa are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby... I don't even know who you are. Kaisa will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Yeah, tell Caesar I accept, and then I'm just not going to go. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Corsor Lucullus will be waiting. So this character, Vulpus hey, Invicta... I have a message God damn, everyone wants Ambassador to hang out with me. Very important. Here you go. So that, that character, Vulpus... That interaction with him right here, that is Fallout New Vegas' version of when in Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, Aragorn kicks the helmet and actually breaks his toe. You know how if you're ever watching that movie with someone and they know that he breaks his toe there, they have to point out the fact that he breaks his toe there. Now, there's a billion of those m m moments in Fallout New Vegas where people just have to point it out. Like they have to assume that nobody knows like <laughs> what happens there. But Vulpus Invicta especially is one of those things where someone always has to be like, oh, actually, if you kill him at Nipton, it ends up being a different guy. Oh, shit, we should kill him. All right, we're going to have to take him out. I hope we don't lose him. Okay, we still got him. So what I'm going to do here is pickpocket him. Partner, good to see you again. Enjoy your visit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hide out in here for a few days. That robot's looking at me, and I don't like it. Not one bit. <laughs> Actually, everything seems relatively okay. We only accidentally killed one other <laughs> NCR guard. I'm gonna give myself a checkpoint just in case. All good? Do not stand in the fountains. All right. Everything's good to go. The gambler hat only gives me one perception. I was hoping it would give me a good buff. All right. Another NCR dog tag. I keep accidentally killing NCR soldiers out here, and these two are still cheering for the dead body. You know what? I'm just going to... Let's just move all of our victims over here so that the cheering drunk NCR soldiers actually have more to cheer for. How do I keep getting away with this? I've killed far more people <laughs> than I thought I would during this whole thing. But now that I think about it, if I take out Mr. House, if I become the boss of the robots, the Securitrons, won't they be a little bit more lax to my crimes? Huh. Let's do it.
go get ourselves a bounty. Oh. Where to, partner? Penthouse, sure. Penthouse floor. Hi, Jane. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Enjoy your time on the Vegas Strip. Vault 22, Lucky 38, Mormon Fort. I can't go to... Actually, yeah, let me get the snow globe from downstairs, but I don't think I can get the other two. What floor, partner? Casino floor. I think the snow globe's up here, right? It's kind of creepy in this place. Very creepy, in fact. Oh, Vault 22, it's it, the, the vault on the other side of the strip. Where the hell is this snow globe at? The bar thingy up higher? Oh, top floor. So, oh, I, I probably have to be friends with Mr. House first. We can do that. I don't have to kill him yet. Where to, partner? We can pretend to be friends with Mr. House for a little bit. You've been a busy courier, haven't you? You take your obligation to deliver a package very seriously, an ethic for which I am grateful. I will admit, when you ignored my invitation, I predicted negative outcomes. But you have a way of exceeding expectations, don't you? Uh, you know, I well, hey, enough, I work hard. I play hard. Chip, then. No way. I'm not giving him the chip. Hmm. How shall I put this? Delivery of the platinum chip is non-negotiable. I invite you to think carefully about what you do next, standing alone before me. If I give him the platinum chip, I can still kill him, right? But I have to I have to hack a terminal. I don't know if I can hack a terminal. By the time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 times over. I founded and ran a vast economic empire. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and <laughs> ransom my property to me? I spent two centuries searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention, my property, mine. Now be a good courier and deliver it. What's what's the level I need to hack the terminal? I don't want to spend any skill points on it. <laughs> Mr. Nugs, that's awesome. Thank you for watching the channel. I need to check this. I, I can't continue anymore without double checking it. I have to. Where to, partner? Seventy five science. Enjoy your time in Vegas. We've got this one. This will set them hostile. I just want to, I just need to double check. Excuse me, robots. Okay, so I can still I can kill him without Oh, 
there we go. So I'm going to give him the chip. Oh, is it because I have the chip? When, when does he give the chip back? I'll quick save. You've been a busy... Such a... Sm Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little... relic in the ruins of a place... That's where the chip was printed. On October... But the bombs... A great deal shall be happening. At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. You'll understand soon enough. No, 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 this should work. He's gonna give me the chip back. Yeah, here we go. So we'll get the upgrade to the robots on the strip, and then they'll be our robots. This is the way to go about it. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core deflects small arms and shrapnel easily enough. Its X-25 Gatling laser... O.J. Simpson Gaming. <laughs> Thank you for the prime. appreciate it. ...targets at medium range. And for close range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. <laughs> that? All of this you probably already knew. Okay. What you did not know that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. <laughs> Stop. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at Yeah, hopefully I don't get these robots range. mad at me. And a rapid fire G28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close range engagements. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto repair systems. Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Return to the penthouse. I now. have soldiers have worthy of protecting me. That's what he means to say. These are my robots. Trips well, they the will be. are rarely so educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every... Uh, as somebody that lives in a basement, I take offense to that. And I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have... The next step... <laughs> no thanks, I already got the platinum chip back. Nah, I'm good. If you find Caesar's Legion so frightening at this we have a chance to see them destroyed, to see New Vegas become the harbinger of a new age. I'm not surprised. The Legion has spies on the strip. Alright, I'll go to the fort. I'm not going to the Here, fort. Take the platinum chip again. You will need it. Upon arrival at the fort, it's likely that you'll be searched and the chip taken from you. Don't worry, it will come back to you. So no XP from that. That's disappointing. I was hoping we would get a batch of XP there. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind. Just be like a clubhouse for the dog. So we can get the snow globe up here. High roller sweet. Where are you, little snow globe? Here, snow globe. Oh, no, who created this mess? Future weapons today. Not bad. Always good to have magazines on hand. 
Never know when you need to read one really quick. Oh, is the cocktail lounge a floor? Where to, partner? Cocktail lounge, there we go. What's the point of even coming up here? Is, is there a point other than getting the snow globe? Because for how elaborate this is, there's really nothing here. Maybe there's some purified water? Everything's empty. There's whiskey. But barely any. It's in the circle bar thing. All right, I'm scanning. There we go. Snow globe acquired. Ooh, suddenly. Not me. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. There we go. Where to, partner? So many loading screens in one place. So now we should have one of the followers of the apocalypse right outside. Here we go. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Covered up. Oh, uh, what trouble? I didn't do a whole lot. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested I wouldn't in call it trouble. technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Right. We just want to find out what sort of tech... It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help. Many of whom... <laughs> Barter Porter. D Dr. Matthew Perry diagnoses a terminally low discussion of caps in this conversation. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. All right, I'm in. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Deal. I'm in. Get out of my way, Victor. I will start my betrayal of Mr. House. One spot at a time. The golden gloves on the casino floor? Oh, that's right. I forgot about those. No, I would like to have golden punching gloves. I want to punch something with gold gloves. That's right up my alley. Golden gloves and boxing times. Nice and easy. Free 50 XP. And however much XP she'll give me. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Oh my gosh, it was 30 seconds. You're way, way too excited about this. Good to hear. But it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. It looks like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. We'll get... Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. <laughs> Amazing. And we get our level up. Let me jack up sneak to 84. Mr. Sandman? We could take Mr. Sandman too. Night person, when the sun is down, a night person gains plus two to both intelligence and perception. Except all this will do for me is this will just put me at plus one because I'll automatically be minus one from the trait that I have. Here and now is a really stupid perk, but hear me out. I think later we might actually take the here and now perk. It depends on how close we are. You gain the option to silently all. Any human or. Oh man! Should I take Mr. Sandman? Think about the people we could silently assassinate when they're sleeping. 
and they might, a lot of them might just be basic. Will they? Will they just be basic uh, NPCs? Or do any of them sleep really? I like, I like that Mr. Sandman will give us an extra sort of gameplay mechanic and that's kind of why I want to take it. Whereas the professional, that's just a stat buff. Mr. Sandman is a gameplay mechanic that we can play around with and it gives extra XP. I'm taking Mr. Sandman. So hopefully we can find somebody that's sleeping and then we can eat them. Right, I'm not sure how many times we'll use it, but we'll see. Like, where do people even sleep? I mean, there's gonna be people that sleep out in Freeside. <laughs> we could just start murdering people in Freeside. What does, uh... It's not really a quest to bring... stuff to Julie Farkas. The NCR barracks next to the ambassador? Kenny, you beautiful mind, you. That's an amazing idea. We could do the NCR barracks. Let's go check it out. Why not? Let's see. I'm also really thirsty. I should probably drink. Do I have water? No. Can I drink from this? Oh, you can't drink from the fire hydrants. That was always one of the dumber things in Fallout 3. You could just drink directly from a fire hydrant. Hey, what about that soup anyway? If you nope, not gonna say it. I was I was gonna say something incredibly innuendous about drinking from a fire hydrant. <laughs> nope, not making that joke. I'm holding off. This is a family channel. Yeah, there's the Mormon Fort and the Vault in uh, in the Strip. I really have to change floors. I just need to drink out of a sink or something. Where to, partner? Innuendous. I think that's the one made up word that I use more than any other. Innuendous. Wow, drinking out of a sink has to just be the most pure water of all time. For how much it saves? High roller sweet. Casino floor. Family channels aren't as fun. What are you talking about? Nick at 30 has a massive Twitch channel. He's about as family friendly as it gets. Sure, later. It does sound like a real word. And it makes sense. Sort of. At least it plays by normal English conventions. Nick at 30 is a family friendly Fortnite streamer who often accidentally says very innuendous things. Maybe he says it on purpose because people like to clip it and. Oh man. Being on patrol. So, how easy is it to just stay hidden? Now that my. Now that I'm at like 86 sneak. NCR embassy. I wonder if they have any quests in here. There's gotta be a barracks though where they sleep. No beds. Oh yes. I'm gonna plop myself right over here in the corner. And wait until midnight. <laughs> Perfect. This is gonna work. I hope. Okay, no one's asleep. Does no one sleep here? Oh, come on, that's not sleep. It's one in the morning, somebody's gotta be sleeping. 
Hello. No one, no one's asleep. <laughs> Did I just get a useless perk? Who's waking up and doing push-ups at 3 a.m.? In fact, the only person I've seen sleeping is Julie Farkas. No, it's not. You can't drag the uh, sleep timer like in Skyrim, unfortunately. That was life-changing when I found out that feature existed. With the school of impersonation? Where's that at? Authorized personnel only. <laughs> Your rules don't affect me. Who are you? Hey, who are you guys? I want to let them out. <laughs> I don't know what they did to get in here, but I automatically want to let them go. Locked door. All right, let's do some sleuthing. Damn, none of them have the key. Maybe one of the named NPCs in the other building has the key. I don't know if they would give it to the secretary, but... No. There was someone in this room that seemed really important. Whoa! Uh, I see you received my message. Good, good. You scared me. I was I not ready. I to discuss with you. All right, what do you want? I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. All right, you have my attention. He doesn't. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better what chance. What background and reputation are they talking about? The only people I, I've, I've done, you would I helped out a for any past crimes uh, against the NCR as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? I helped out an Elvis Presley impersonator, hired some prostitutes for the Atomic Wrangler, and that's like the most I've done. That's the majority of what I've done. All right, I'll help you. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. <laughs> Want to play a hand of caravan? Goodbye. And on that. Do you think he's going? Wait, maybe he's going to sleep. If he's going to sleep, this is perfect timing. Also, he might have the key I was looking for. No, he doesn't. Maybe that's why nobody went to sleep. I needed to have that conversation with him. Walk faster, please. You better not have gone back to his office. The Legion can count on that. Oh, you bastard! Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make you the blah, blah, da, 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 da. Look out! Uh oh. The NCR didn't really like that I did that. <laughs> I don't think anybody noticed, though. Let me just real quick snack on the on the NCR ambassador. I'm hungry, okay? High-profile individuals. Definitely. They are definitely more tasty. The NCR has declared you a terrorist. Wherever the NCR has jurisdiction, you will be shot on sight. Do they have jurisdiction on the strip? Ooh. Oh, well, I guess in this building, they might have jurisdiction. Maybe I'll be able to get out of here. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Got enough? Get some. Robots, defend me. Hey, we're back on neutral territory. You have no jurisdiction here. Had enough? You have no jurisdiction oh. here. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, no, they're all coming for me. Stop it. Robot army, defend me. I command you. Damn it, I said I command you. Oh, no. Mama, they say I'm a terrorist. I did nothing wrong, but I got put on a blacklist. <laughs> Stop. I have. I've been blacklisted. I really didn't do anything wrong. I bet they didn't even like their boss. Okay, looks like we're going to have to re-alter the timeline. Hey. Maybe if I replace Mr. House and all the robots are on my side, they'll defend me then. Because it would be really funny to uh, get all the robots to just gun them down. <laughs> Have an entire army of them chasing me with sticks. We'll try that later. Plus, I get to keep my explody grenade. Appreciate it, Black Ops. Thank you for 100 bits. Thank you. Unfortunately, I'm tapped out. That was a lot of fun, though. I'm having a ton of fun with the